There is a stream up. I am yet to hear anything on the stream. There's some slight sound. I'm sure what this is. I can hear myself on the stream, I can't hear DJ on the stream. Welcome to Lockdown Land, where we set up crazy creeks to play driving games. The packet has arrived finally, and we are doing this complicated setup. We are currently in progress of doing sound debugging. We'll do it live! Sir. Okay. Hello, everyone. Maybe. How does that work? Does that work? You have some sound. Okay. When we say we have some sound, how is how is it? How how do I sound? How do you sound? You I might have multiple sound sources. Hard to differentiate between them. Okay, but just mute Discord a sec, and then just so just mute it now, and then when I finish saying the sentence, you just say a sentence, and then we'll come back in. Well, I'm saying a sentence. And did you hear your sentence on the stream? I heard myself kinda okay. Kinda okay. Thank you. Every time I switch back to Discord, it's hey, you've got a new uh you've got a new audio device. Hey Henry, I have got a DOF Reality H2. Upgradable to three and four. And I had a quick play with it earlier. And, um, it hurts. <laughs> okay, so, we reckon we're good now. So now I need to get into the game. So, yeah, um, this rig is something else. I I'm, I'm honestly impressed. Um, so I, I mentioned before that I used a D-Box setup when we were at Codemasters. And that D-Box setup was amazing. I mean, I mean, properly amazing. And it was £18,000. And I was like... 
Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Um, just one other thing, Shalka. On the stream right now, can you now see? Very loud, Forza. I'll come to that. I am seeing video smaller. Yes. If you're talking, don't bother talking. Talking is a waste of time. Don't bother. Let me get in the game. <laughs> this is just blazingly loud. But yeah, so um, I used a, a £17,000 D-Box setup. And don't get me wrong, it was awesome. It was really, really awesome. And I remember saying to myself, um, I want one. I don't care how much it is, I really want one. And then I found out how much it was. And I'm like, what, what, what? I don't understand. Who's your target audience? People who can afford race cars, but for some reason don't buy them. So I've only gone on track once this year. I've only managed to get one track day and it was raining. And I'm not going to get another one this year. And I'm probably not going to get another track day till mid next year. That is the state of the UK at the moment. So this is a partly a treat to myself because I deserve it and partly because I haven't bought any new tires or bits of my car or anything so I've even got my actual car in Forza so are you in Forza Schalke I am in Forza can you if I invite you is it going to pop up an annoying dialogue I or is it going to got an in-game thing so not only do I have the motion platform, I've also, oh my God, I've also got a subwoofer. I don't know if you saw that. So I, I actually know the guy who does the motion platforms for this and I'm actually going to message him because one of the things that's not very good at all is the, um, um, when you come in and out the menus, how do I, how do I get to the menu where it's like at home? So hopefully Schalke. I sh you should be able to just invite me, and I think it will be... Ah, Horizon has... Ah, Schalke has joined your Horizon convoy and cannot join your game. Why, why, why not? Schalke has joined the convoy, but you just said... I am unsure whether game audio is on the stream. It might be quite quiet. You're quite quiet as well. Ah, hey Max. Right, I'm getting messages about convoy leaders and things, but I, oh, right, hold on, I've got to press that button. And then, how do I get to the, co oh, horizon, co button three, what's that then, triangle? It is triangle. Okay, not in leader session, so can you guys, uh, three. Um, how do I make you the leader of the convoy? Wow, if I press triangle, I have invite, leave, convoy, cancel. Right, I'm going to make Schalke the convoy leader. Schalke, you are the leader. Return to free roam to accept. So, so, oh yeah, this is my actual car. This is literally my actual car. This is a 22B. So, You'll notice on the back of the platform, back of the motion rig, I have, I've got a four point harness, which cost me almost nothing. And I've got bungee cords. And this is, this is fascinating. So when it breaks, the whole wrap platform goes forwards. So the, the cords go tight. Now, I'm, unfortunately, I've got this set up correctly. It's really uncomfortable because real um, harnesses are not comfortable in the slightest. They strap you very firmly to the chair. So I, I am now, I don't get to move. That's it. Right. So, um, is it, can you guys hear the stream of the game at all? Can you hear that? Or should I turn it up a bit? Or is it just there but quiet? And while someone's typing their answer... I have not heard any game audio. Nothing at all. Not even a little teeny blip. Not really. Not really or not at all? I mean... Uh, so... It's, 
people sometimes I see on my my various car groups people want to put four point mm -hmm. harnesses in their car. <clears throat> Never put a four point harness in a car. Yes. So I am correctly attached to this harness, right? So if I was in a real car, I cannot turn around. I can no longer reach my laptop. You can hear the revs. You can hear the revs. Okay. Steering wheel, you will definitely hear. So have you guys got the, the stream up at all then? Yep. Right. I was talking to you without being in the channel. Uh, Discord's chakra is very quiet. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something terrifying now. So the thing is, this is actually quite nice. There's just a little bit of rock, a little bit of motion. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Forza though is all about doing this. This this is not quite so nice. But I am in an Impreza. It's got rally suspension. Um, now I don't know how much it looks like I am moving on the stream. This is no longer comfortable. <laughs> it's insane. Also, something just went burrup, but I don't know what it was. I made you the leader of our convoy. You left the convoy. I for some reason. I really didn't, but okay. Um, join game. I really don't like. If I say join game, is that going to join Rizzle's game? No, I don't want to join Rizzle's game. Fuck you. Now I've just joined someone completely the wrong person's session. Leave Convoy. Join Schalke's game. There we go. I'm joining your game. So, how does it... How does it, like, how... How much does the seat look like it's moving? A lot. Does it? Okay. Because it... It's... It's... I can make it less brutal. And if I undo my seatbelt, it's also a lot... Uh, less punishing. But, as I said, you're supposed to have it, uh, a seatbelt on. And so when I break... I get all my weight go forwards, and then the seatbelt goes tight, which really feels like a um, you're braking with a harness on. Right. Well, um, I would I would request slower cars and on road, please, for a while, until I uh, until I get the hang of this. <laughs> also, there's one that was well, two things. Um, this is no easier. This is way way harder than normal i am not joking i have very little movement i cannot reach out i put everything i need within range of me so and hopefully you can't see my feet and if you have i've got socks ready to put on um there are a bunch of people who do st streaming with their rigs and i really don't want to see some middle-aged blokes feet up close incidentally if you want to see my middle-aged feet up close that's a minimum 50 dollar donation Yeah, you changed the, the view. I haven't. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, right bumper. So, Shaka, you're in charge. You have to pick something today. Yeah. Um, Max, by the way, go to your house and check your barn finds. I had loads, like loads and loads of barn finds that have updated while I've been... Uh... Okay. Can you see that on the stream? It just says, it just says to join event. That button? That button. Doesn't think it just said blank. Join event. Wait, have you gone with an S class? Ah. Uh -huh. And what I said, can we start? Did I not force everybody to be the same? Well, maybe. Don't think so. Doing the like the mini thing or what's this thing? If you're on a yeah, mini, I'm. Car. If you're on a mini, I'm sure as hell not. Launching event. I can't read that. So Henry, the best thing about this this setup, apart from the price, this is two off. Okay, so I've got pitch and yaw. Then I could buy an upgrade that adds a pivot and a third motor, giving me yaw as well, and that is used for traction loss. And then there is another upgrade to turn it into a full six off system. So this system can grow with you. You don't have to do the whole outlay. <coughs> Shalka, you you set this up. Like, there are loads and loads of people from class D to class S. Should we maybe all quit? Find them. Limiter. Should we maybe all quit? No, it'll be fine. No, there's a Fiat 500 and I'm in an S2 catering. 
This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be pointless. Yeah. Right. Do it again, Shalka. No driver tires for a start. Skill. Driver tires are bad, but. Well, unless you just want to just have about 50 AI in the map for some reason. I'm watching an unskippable advert. I, 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 genuinely, I, I can't clean too much because Forza was free. But if I paid money for this, I'm just watching an unskippable advert for DLC. Fuck me. How long is this advert? Can I skip it with the escape? Holy shit. I cannot believe there's an advert in the game for Lego. Lego Forza Horizon. <laughs> like I, I, I might be interested in the DLC, but not right now. And at my own, uh, at my own leisure, please. Right. I don't think I'm in your session anymore. Contact. These menus are a clusterfuck as well. I can select find new session. But I can't just go here are all my friends. And I can't see if you're in the session. I just got a noise. Join game. Shalka. Fetching group game details. Joining convoy. Right, I'm in your convoy. We don't have a max though. Oh, Whoa! Control system can't cope with me trying to use the keyboard and the, the joypad to steer. No, it keeps. I, does it not accept that at all? I was kind of hoping it would, because I'd like to put. A, I'd like to put a handbrake on. It's trying to work out which one I'm it, using. And it play. works. Doesn't it just work? But just flick all the, the the dialogue boxes on the screen back and forwards. Well, like it works. I wish it, were. it works, but it just flickers. It works not very well. Cause it's going, oh, you want to use the keyboard? Instead of it. No. To be fair, in this game, like all all driving games, apart from Snowrunner, you don't just flat out accelerate. So, stick with the triggers. Uh, did you invite Max Schalke? You did. And I accepted it. Nothing's happened. I think you may. Oh, have you accepted? Have you, you accepted it? Takes. Have you accepted it and returned to free roam? Uh. Did you return didn't, to didn't, free didn't roam by closing anything. all the menus? Yes, it does. It goes, accepted. Now return to free roam. Oh, you haven't accepted it. You've kind of half I'll fit, accepted I'll it. I've the green tick and they're just Yeah, okay. Anything. Now and you've just left the convoy. Once you... You, you can accept it, I, but then I'm you... I'm not getting any Now, you've, now you have joined the convoy. Once you accept it, it will say at the top of your screen, you have joined the car... Yeah, you have accepted the invoy. Uh, return to free roam to join the leader session. Some, some yeah, stupid thing like that. it's not telling me that. Yeah, but it has told you that. But you're busy bugging around with your controls. Now you need to go back no. to free roam. Yes, it no, does. Now you need just because it's not there now. It has told you it this. It did not come up any at any point. Or more likely, you didn't notice because you were in a dialogue box about controls. I finished. Well, I was in a race. Bear in mind. So maybe it doesn't let you do it because I'm in a race. Uh, no, Henry. This is my old DX racer chair. So this is a. Uh, this has been my office chair for some years. Um, I bought a set of standard um, seat right, runners. Now I've got the alert. So I've put a set of standard seat runners, so I can actually move the chair forwards and backwards. Um, it's surprising. When you're buying car bits, as long as it's generic car bits, they're really cheap. How do I return to free roam? It's, totally, it's sort of stuck on the screen, saying, alert, Horizon Life Convoy session ready, return to free roam to accept. Well, return to free roam. You know, just the driving around. The driving around the shit. Oh, well, not on, on the on map. Driving around. I've got someone going on at me. Uh, well, that's right, so map. There we go. Right. Todd, I think have you, I'm in free room. Have you still got? I think I think you are now. 
Have you still got... Actually, I got some woman going on at me earlier about how she was a streamer and stuff. <laughs> what I'm I did find... To play again. What are you doing, Jelka? Huh? I've already hit join about three times. You don't doing anything. I'm in. I'm in. I'm not clear what this status is. Now you are in the... Yep, yeah, now he's in, he's in the convoy and the session. And the game. So this, this, Forza's weird. It, it, it really, really is odd. Because you can be in someone's convoy and party and session and race. Or any combination of those. I like when my, my van is the best, by the way. It's awful. Well, it looks pretty. But it says Shalka is searching for an online session for your convoy. I really would like a hamburger. Hey, maybe I can. Uh, Enter to the team adventure. No, Shalka has left the session. Shalka is starting matchmaking for your convoy. Press uh, that one. That one. Two out of three players have accepted. Welcome to Team Adventure. Waiting for the leaders to start the adventure. Max Realism has joined the session. Waiting for the leaders to start the adventure. If, an bus just disappear in front of me. That's scary. if anyone watching has any clue what any of this stuff is talking about, let us know. We found this, it's a bit like GTA. Like, GTA, it's brilliant. But it's all of the getting into the event stuff. It's just oh, such a pain. When you're in, it's great. Getting in, not great. I can accelerate or go in a straight line. Sorry, ah. accelerate or steer. Yeah. Do you remember some that. while ago where Dave very smugly said, oh, well, all games allow you to elixir input from two devices? I'm like, no, they fucking don't. No, they fucking and, he, don't. and he had a strop. Yeah, because SnowRunner doesn't either. Yeah, there are lots of games. It's just like, oh, you're using that. Okay, yeah. let's switch to using just those controls. I mean, it's, it's pretty seamless. It switches between them. It doesn't go, oh, you've run this keyboard and sort of stutter and stall and. Sometimes you know, it is, sometimes it's, it's not. I, I A lot of games. But in this game, it's good. It's, it's well, good. It's some good. games, it's seamless. In other games, the me it seems, apart from the menus, which don't like it. But, um. I'm getting crackling. I guess the around that, really, if I really wanted it, would be to have the, um, uh, the, oh, what do you call it, the big white, um, <laughs> Just thing. Buy, or, for a quarter of the price, buy an actual steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want the steering wheel, I just want the pedals. Well, yeah, but when do you but use the pedal, you... when do you use the pedals when you aren't using a steering wheel? When else do you use the pedals, except in driving games? Like Warcraft's got an auto run. That's a good point. Shalka, we're waiting for you. Talk to us. And I have set up an adventure. Well, we're waiting for you to start the adventure. I'm genuinely not exaggerating. This is incredibly uncomfortable and awesome. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, having driven and been in actual race cars, they are many, many things, and comfortable is not one of them. Right, did you set all these... So you've just set up a whole bunch of things, in, and you got the last one wrong, and the first one is an S1. Did you not... Oh, this is wrong. It's an S1. That's the second fastest class of car in the game. I tried a bunch of slower ones, and I didn't have any cars for them. Difficult to set up. Do we want to set up for an actual uh, slow? Well, I don't bother doing. I set up like seven or eight missions in advance because there's no way you'll get it right. Just I just go somewhere and go this one. The ones I haven't done because that unlocks stuff for you. Oh, this is good. At least it's an Impreza. It's the um, it's the race cars that are the really real hard ones. Um, because they have very hard suspension. This has got fairly soft suspension. But yeah, one of the things, uh, Henry, about this is this ma this takes standard seat mounts. So you can buy any seat. You can buy a seat off uh, in like an old MG or something. At least this is a forgiving car as well. 
I've ordered some uh, seat belt. Uh, oh, God, I've got collision on. I have some seat belt things as well because I'm getting. I'm sure going to get bruises on my uh, pecs from this. I was considering mounting the camera on the this this system as well, so you could just see it uh, spin. But mostly, this was a struggle just to get this working in time. Tomorrow, I will actually have a headset, which should make things a lot easier. I also think... Oh, oh. So I've got the vibration unit. And I have a funny feeling I can... <laughs> I have a funny feeling I can hear the vibration unit through my headset as well. Yes, I'm 99% sure I can, in fact. Yeah, the auto assistants are a bit overzealous on the braking, which is why I'm so far behind. It's... Yeah, the, that doesn't really... Well, as I said, it doesn't really work on the Impreza because it's a oversteering y drifty type car. Did you read the article I linked, yeah. by the way, uh, a few weeks ago about, about Forza? They did a whole bunch of analysis on, on assists. Like, some people never turn off assists. And then it's like, what assists do people turn off first? How good are they? Why do they turn an assist off? What assists do people always use? What people never use? And it's fascinating because they're trying to work out that the game should suggest you the assist you actually want or need. As opposed to making the game too easy or too difficult. But yeah, Microsoft yeah. did a lot of research into this. And Racing Line um, is usually the first one to... Oh, actually, Auto Brake's the first one to come off. It's also brake. I mean, you can just pretty much just walk away with a rubber band around it, still finish the race. Um, but yeah, the uh, the racing line is usually the last one to come off because that's the point where you've learned the levels. I've gone with braking only racing line because, quite frankly, I can't. This it's, this sim rig makes it so much more difficult. I'm having to fight with my whole body just to sort of maintain grip on the steering wheel. Oh yes! Ultimate clean racing. That was very close. I can't even throw my hands up by the way. The highest I can get is there. <laughs> then the seatbelt stops me. I can take it off. If you take it off then it wobbles around but I, you just like correct. I was saying a real race car you it's a six point on a real car and you're properly strapped in but i think this harness was about eight nine pounds and specifically says not for road use on it oh i see it's red team versus blue team and i'm the only one on the blue team Woo, good blue i like point out, i look awesome shaka you look terrible or unless that's max you look terrible You've all gone quiet. Are you just in awe at how fabulous I look? Uh, no, I need to turn off the assists. <laughs> I don't know how to. <laughs> um, it's under difficulty. I'm not sure you can get to it. Probably not. This is... Oh, it's the same car again, is it? Oh, free... oh now we have to race to the next event, do we? Uh, oh, can we not bring up the dialogues? Yeah, you can. Pause it. And then uh, settings. Oh, difficulty settings not available. Actually, you might be able to. This is, this is, oh, because we're in the middle of an event, yeah. Yeah, so now we're doing a free roam. And the only way to win this is to take a... Uh, a direct route. World's best rally car, defeated by a slightly muddy field. I rolled a car earlier, that was extremely... Um, Jesus. Um, I haven't cranked this up like this, is just on the default settings. I can I can turn it down, I can turn off certain things, so if I don't want impacts or something, I can turn them off. I can also crank it right up as well. This is I think, got 30% smoothing and dampening on.
I really wish SnowRunner had support. I really, really, really wish that. That would just be the best thing ever. So I'm sorry if you're getting thuds coming through on the stream. You probably are. And that thud is it controlling my base unit, which I have managed to accidentally mirror out. <laughs> Did I win? Yes. Bloody hell, I thought you had that then. I thought I smashed into you, actually. <laughs> I want to smash into him. Oh, it just took his way back. Doesn't tell us how much time, though. That's a shame. Or distance. Yeah. Check was representing the red team. Right, hopefully you won't get the doof, 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 and hopefully I won't either. So yeah, I've got a subwoofer fitted, or a, a base transducer fitted to the seat. Um, just below my gentleman's area, it's rather nice. Um, but the whole seat vibrates when I change gear and when I get impacts. When I get an impact, the whole chair shakes and I get this doof. But yeah, I'm super pleased with it so far. And Elite apparently goes free to play next week, so we can... Oh God. So uh, I'd like to try Elite in VR with it as well. <laughs> um, Shakra, they're not like online adventures. You can just pick one going, pick somebody else's online adventure. Is it not that? I just picked something and it had free car selection. But I mean, they're not because you put together this adventure. Because you couldn't... I'm surprised there isn't like uh, somebody else's adventure. Like the highest rated adventures. I guess there could be, but it wasn't the most clear menu structure. No, you don't say. <laughs> Every, so, my microphone is just a few inches um, to my left in my peripheral vision, and I keep thinking it's about to smack me in the face, because I'm moving, not it. <laughs> I keep thinking it's slowly falling over, and it's not, it's just me. Now, as I said, I actually have this car. This is literally the car I own, and I can tell you for nothing, its top speed is 137. So they haven't got that right. There's some tops at about 170. But yeah, uh, mostly the seat's not for this game, which is quite over the top. It's for something like Project Cars in VR. Um, I, I, I honestly don't think I'm going to get back on track till quite a long way through next year. And uh, this will be the closest I'll be able to do, unfortunately. Because every time I was like, ah, oh, it's opening up, it's opening up. Oops, sorry. Um, then, of course, we just had a, another level of lockdown kick in. Cars should be quite safe from virus standpoint. Uh, well, yeah, it's not that bit. But obviously, you've got to go to the safety briefings and you've got to have food at lunchtime. And then you have all the staff there. So if it's when non-essential stuff is closed down, racetrack definitely kept non-essential. A lot of places, when you turn up, usually it's like 20 people go in 10 cars and they all change cars during the day and they go around with their mates or a driver's club or whatever. Um, and obviously that can't happen. And a lot of the racetracks just had to shut because, you know, you, you, you are right, the track days can still run. But a lot of the tracks just shut and furloughed their staff because, of course, they're not open for track days. They're open for race events where you have thousands upon thousands of people coming and those haven't happened most of the year so it's most of the money well they, i mean they can't afford to open it and they certainly yeah. can't like track days don't make them much money that just kind of tight ticks them over but if i hit the armco or something like that you'd normally rely on the money from a race event in order to pay for that this microphone moving is so disconcerting So yeah, uh, I, I can't imagine we're going to get anything till the beginning of the race season, April, May next year. And even then, even then, maybe not, you know, who knows. Oh, I was hoping it's me able to join us in her silly ass cars. It's 
So, are you, what do you have to do to get that, um, the movement thing off there? It's cool now, sorry. The chair. Um, the chair. What have you done to make that integrate into Forza? Um, I, so when you buy the chair, it comes with a lifetime subscription to the, the base level of a program called Sim Racing Studio. And from that, and that then integrates with, um, I can show you, it's on the stream. So that integrates with Sim Racing Studio. So I can tune, I'm um, here, I can tune like uh, what I want. I can uh, twiddle the rate up. So right, currently, you saw it by the way. Yeah. None of this is up high. <laughs> the highest, this one's set to six out of 10. Um, and then I can smooth them um, and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, it, it's the reaction speed. It's not really the amount it tilts. It's how quickly it shoves you around. All right, Henry, cheers for popping in. Say so, hi to everyone if you see them before me. So, yeah, it's a program called Sim Racing Studio, which has support for, I don't know, about 100 games or so. Or rather, 100 games have support for it. It's probably a fairer way so of it, Oh, so it's sort of, they're, they're, it's pulling data out of the game and... The data, the, the data is sending data. The game is sending data, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like an API it opens or something? Yes. It just sends UDP packets to the local PC. Oh, okay. Local loop. Yeah. Which is interesting. They disabled in Windows 8. You're not allowed to use local loopback. I had to install a program to enable local loopback. I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm actually some stupid decisions sometimes. Well, I, I kind of understand why, but you're like, lots of programs use that legitimately as well as lots of people doing it normally. So I've, yeah. I've had to enable local loopback. It's theoretically possible for me to put the SimRig software on a different PC to the game and then just so send that, it there, but I'm not. Was that just like UDP, uh, sorry, local loop rather than the... Because you can do the same thing with... Um, oh, whoa, found the arm code. Um, <laughs> sorry. Is that the same as um, using the external stack, as it were? No, the local loop back is very, very, function. very quick and efficient. And bypasses all the security. That's why they don't like it. So yeah. It's really good. It's, you know, it's as close. Because oh, it's usually firewall, so it usually block it and that. Yeah. yeah, it's as close to instant as you can get. Whereas when you do the local loop back manually, that might take you know a couple of milliseconds. Whereas internally, it's going to be in the nanoseconds sort of. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how it looks on stream. I really don't. It's awesome. I, I'm, I'm super happy with that. But that those off-road races are punishing. Are we doing all seven of these events up in the same car then? I think yeah, it works like that. And I didn't find how I would interrupt this, so. It's... No, it's it's all right. We'll we'll do it. It's I said when I was doing earlier, I I was doing the uh, the taxi events, and they are crazy, because. Um, so I did uh, like a monster truck, like one of the big off-roaders, and that's all right. It's all soft swaying. And then I did something with very hard suspension, and the motion rig acts differently for a hard suspension car. And, and again, I don't know if you've ever been in a in a race car, but it's not comfy. It's really not comfy. So uh, same sort of thing happens. Like it's it, it smacks you around every lump on the road. You can feel it. Uh, interesting, I can get 200 points of coming first, but you guys can only get 100 because there are more blue players than red players. Level. I call this a target-rich environment. <laughs> I love this. It's just like pan in and three, go. Yeah. Oh, this is a sharp corner. But yeah, with all your time and live for speed and everything, you could probably turn on quite a lot of assists because you get more um, uh, rewards the more assists you've got off, you see. So there's a big scaler on it. You can probably turn most of them off, or some of them off, without any real detriment to your time, but with a whole bunch more rewards. One weird thing, this game doesn't have any force feedback settings. Force feedback's great, but it's quite strong, but I don't seem to be able to, to twiddle it. I have an external program to twiddle the force feedback from Logitech, but most games just let you fiddle it with it in-game. 
this is where I should probably bind a key to the. Well, I suppose because technically, technically, I guess you could treat the motion platform like a mo a, an Xbox controller. It's just it's um, got the it's just got the moving, moving the buzz, buzz motors. Well, unfortunately, all the Xbox controller can do is it's got it's got a small and a large, and it can rotate them at different speeds so it, it could in theory intercept it and vibrate the chair I, I don't know why i would want it to do that It'd just be like sitting on a washing machine on spin cycle um yes i've had helicopter rides like that but for an hour and a half yes like this is so cool oh wow it's so noisy oh i can feel everything and that's why i like it hurts to sit here anymore i would like to stop riding the helicopter <laughs> He's getting a yeah. bit bumpy. That's not, that's not possible, unfortunately. Shalko, you don't know what bumpy is. I have to. I, I am very impressed with the quality of the force feedback as well. I mean, I've only tried Forza. Um, Project Cars 2 is apparently brilliant because it has a laser scan tracks. But this is very good. Like all of the uh, up and down and bounce and movement. So, Max, from your point of view, what what do you consider value for money in in life? Like, if you pay a thousand pounds for a thing, or ten pounds, or a hundred pounds, how many hours should that thing for you think that's that's worth it? Uh, it's relative, obviously. Uh huh. Um, I'll give you a for instance. I'll give you a good for instance. Uh, mountain bikes. Yes. Um, I paid six hundred. No, I paid one hundred fifty pounds for my first mountain bike, second hand. Um, had suspension, it was a bit crap, but um, you know, I got money out of it. I played it, I used it for about four months, three months, four months, something like that. Oh, wow. And then I went and bought an eight, uh, no, £650 pound amount of bike, Marion. I thought, oh, wow, this is great, you know, it's a lot of money to put down the bike. Um, really enjoyed that, I think. I can't remember how long I had that one for. Then I went on to a £2,000 bike, and oh, fuck, does that make a difference? Um, and it's all about the fact that you can, you know, don't weigh it's anything. It's the job, you know. Hmm? Doesn't weigh well, anything. It wasn't fully carbon. It was. Yeah. Uh, I would think it was fully carbon. Actually, yeah. Because yeah. I used um, to have a. Lighter. I used to have a. You know, I had a. I had a four hundred. You know, I had a four hundred and fifty bit one. Then because you spent so much really money, light. and it's the right tool for the job. It's a higher tier of tool, as it were. Yeah. Um, you get you sort of deliberately go out of your way to make sure you use it. Yes. Um, and then I went on and bought a three and a half thousand pound bike, and <laughs> that one I really like, but it's full suspension. Um, takes a lot of cleaning, you know, and it's a bit more, you know, fussy. But, you know, again, it's it's. I mean, I had the two thousand pound bike for the best part of four years. How many hours do you reckon you put into it, though? Um, that one probably had a lot of hours into it. Probably had a good. Oh, I'd have to take an average of like four hours a week, roughly. No, that's not right. That's I mean, two hundred hours. Maybe more than that. What? At that point, you can assume that it's ten pounds an hour. Yeah, which is I, I don't know, quite quite expensive. So this is the thing. I mean, I'm yeah. I'm vaguely working out how many it's, hours it's, I will need to put into this to make I it mean, worthwhile. You have to think about you know value for money. It's all about why is there a, we've got a different route. Yeah, we're just going from Before A to B. Yeah, but there's a red route and a blue route. Um. I'm just this anyway, the the point is that it's you know if you're going to spend out on it like you know something like a computer, you know I'm like well I've got no problem spending splurging money on the computer because I know. A, I'm on it most nights, and B, I'm going to get my money's worth back from it because I am using it all the time, you know. Yeah. If, if you tell people I'm going to spend £200 on a keyboard, they'll be like, what? It's a keyboard. I'll you know, pay a fiver for a keyboard. I'm like, yeah, but you don't use yours for gaming every night, do you? Yeah. You know, it's like saying, I want a car. Right, I've got a Mini. Yeah, now I want to go rally across with it. Like, <laughs> okay, maybe you could. But you That's not good. That's not a good choice. R yeah, it's r Minis yeah. are excellent at rallying. But yeah, I think take your point. Yeah, but you get my point. It's, yeah. it's a crap, it's a crap illustration. You've got to have the right tool for the right job, you know. So, you know, yeah. I like a monster PC. I like, you know, good components. I like reliable components. You know? And if my shit is doing, I mean, you saw how thick it was earlier in the year. You know, it had all the right tools, nothing wrong with the components. It's just the fucking BIOS. And Windows 10 doing its damnedest to fuck me up as well. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. I mean, I always try and aim for a pound an hour. If I spend a lot of money on something, I hope it's going to last longer. Of course, yes. um, how can I put this? So it's like it's like hiring a prostitute. If you hire a crap prostitute for an hour, you know, it's only going to cost you a quid, but a good one's going to cost you a couple of thousand pounds. So it doesn't always uh, work out exactly. Um, I'm just trying to work out how many hours I want to put into this 
particular thing before I'm like, if nothing else. <laughs> this, this particular prostitute. This particular, <laughs> but like, how many hours I need to put into, Jesus, God in heaven. <laughs> if you can see it on the screen. I'll finish, sorry. I'm not watch. Bloody hell. You're getting thrown about and your, your neck is going to hurt tomorrow unless you've got some bracing on. Uh, no, I mean, I've got my head against the back of it. I mean, my <laughs> Yeah, but you're, you're getting thrown around a lot. <laughs> and you're auto-correcting you're correcting that with your neck a little bit. So your well, neck is really... I'm not, not my, I mean, I said, I'm... I, okay, if I try and lean, yeah, that's it. That's all I can lean. I can lean two or three inches left to right. I am strapped into this chair. Um, yeah. But yeah, I feel like I've just been through a, a mild tumble drive. But yeah, I was trying to work out, mm -hmm. you know, because if I were to, well, I know how much. Like, I go out and I can play VR racing motion simulators, right? They're about £30 for 15 minutes. So, you know, if I were to borrow somebody else's, you're looking at 120 quid an hour to rent this. Oh, yeah. You know, they are expensive. Um, and I don't probably wouldn't get to choose the game. I uh, certainly couldn't play with you guys. So it, it, for that sort of point of view, I only, well, I've probably got my, coming up with my money's worth already today. <laughs> if, if, I, if that's my, uh, cheaper than borrowing mark, somebody yeah. else's, yeah. I mean, I want to play, I've got to install Microsoft Flight Simulator, but that'll take about ever. Oh God, it's a beach. <laughs> 70 miles an hour on a beach should not be comfortable though. Are you getting fuzzy feedback, or I suppose the the move, motion platform doesn't do movement as such, does it? Um, does it this not surface, I mean. Oh, it, um, it can do. So, um, don't forget, I've also got the base the the base transducer, and I've also got the steering butt wheel. Kicker. I don't have a butt kicker. I've got a uh, I have a base shaker by Custodia. Uh, what's a, what's, a, what's a butt kicker then? It's a much more expensive brand. The butt, oh, okay. the butt, I it's just a nickname for it. No, um, so the butt kickers, um, if you want to spend money, you can get them for about two grand. But we are talking then, what's that? That's a five kilogram weight with a 15 centimeter throw. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah, but that's the sort of thing you hook up to a, a um, not, not to a motor, that's the sort of thing you hook up to a cinema. A, like, so you have like a whole sofa moving in time to yeah. the low frequency effect. But yeah, you can spend as much as you like. I think my one was 25 quid. But I'm really impressed what it does. Like I can just feel the chair. So every time I change gear, the chair rocks forwards as it... Fuck. Ah, good luck. I just I just had to rewind. I missed the chat point. Oops, so did I. <laughs> it's a triangle. Uh, triangle. Uh, why? Why? Oh, okay. So they take me back to that anyway. Oh. But, um... Think it too. So yeah, when I get uh, <laughs> traction loss, the seat vibrates as well, and I can tweak it however I like. So I can have like it's so I only feel crashes or I don't feel crashes. Um, and I'm curious because uh, Elite Dangerous does have support. Oh, that's in the tools again. Yeah. But the the tools you see, the, the UDP is completely agnostic. So I could output this to a ten million dollar hugely complicated you know the rigs that can go 360 degrees yeah the software will drive anything and the software understands what degrees of freedom you've got and how powerful it is no 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 damn it Schalke It keeps sounding like someone's clapping a pair of rubber bunny boots together. Um, it's possibly the. Uh... Oh! God. Okay, rewind. Um... Yeah, it's the exhaust. Oh, right, sorry, I thought you meant it through the mic. No, no, not you. No, no. no you're going. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a little, that's a little pop. But it does sound like someone's just gone clunk between my boots. I know the guy who did the audio, I'll pass that on. <laughs> yeah, my mate says, oh shit, busted. <laughs> For Burnout 2, we actually got a spare tyre out of someone's car and took it to a very quiet bit of road and we bounced the tyre up and down on the concrete to get the exact sound of a tyre bouncing on concrete. 
Because you it's know? not under any sort of load. No, yeah, no, no. Like, imagine a car. No, no. Imagine a car top wheel that had been ripped off the car. Yeah, oh, I see. Just it was bouncing along. I see. Yeah, bouncing along. Did it sound realistic? Um, well, well, of course, because it was a real one. I mean, of course, it sounded as real as it could possibly be. But do you know what a real one sounds like? It sounds like a beach ball. It sounds exactly like a highly inflated beach ball. And we were like, oh. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, doing, doing, Yeah, just, just, just literally sound. If you imagine the noise when you kick a big beach ball, that's what it sounded like. And we were like, oh. We thought it was going to sound some really cool. sound effects, consumers are used to the fake sound, so yes. real sounds might not seem realistic. Yeah, well, I think in the end we, we didn't use the real sound because it sounded stupid. On Burnout 3, we actually did a realistic sound pack, but realistic car crashes, they sound terrible. Real car crashes are just a very metallic bang, and then usually someone going, oh, I've insurance details, mate. They're not exciting noises. And you guys are so far ahead. But yeah, I suspect I will upgrade immediately ah. to, to, to the three DOF system missed for the, this. Missed the point. Missed the, missed the and I may consider going up to the 6th off as well, but 3 off I think will make a big difference. See, I'm tempted to just go 6 off off the bat, but... It's cheaper to do that, yes. But it's not... I, wouldn't, I don't think I'd go with that. Oh, bloody hell, that's a long way down. And there aren't many 6 off systems on the market for less than about 15,000. 6 off yes, is quite no. red. 3 off, yeah. The wife, the wife would have words, put that way. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know if you can see it on the stream. It's not very big like it's only very slightly wider than my chair was anyway in fact it's narrower than my chair was because i've taken the arms off my chair um and lengthwise i mean we can see i mean it is it's no bigger than it was when it was under my desk i could technically shove it under my desk if i so wanted um and i don't know if you, can you hear it not on my headphones no. there's nothing the it comes with a control box with some fans and the fans are hell of a loud but the actual motion of the platforms is virtually silent. Why is this car not accelerating? Um, slip the clutch, you fucking moron. What are you doing? Come on. I have an impress that it will not roll backwards down a hill. What's going on? I can't accelerate. You've broken something. It's, we don't have damage on. Oh. Now it's stalled. Um... Just the car does not have power to climb from zero to high. This is a 300 horsepower four-wheel drive car with a lockable differential. There we go. Yes, it does have... Unless you enable car damage. I don't know what I enabled. I don't think so. <gasps> That's not. Oh fuck me! <laughs> okay, that was hitting the microphone. Long drop. No, I I rolled. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you. I think I broke the car. <laughs> I thought we. I I thought damage was off though. No, I mean, there must be a. That's a Why is it perfect. raining on your screen? Uh, because um. It's rolling if you go the pitch direction. Uh, no, well, I, I mean, I've got pitch. I've got, I've got roll and pitch on this, and it does roll. It rolls all the way left and then all the way right. Dora, by the way, has spent quite a lot of her time in front of the screen playing with the mouse cursor. Thankfully, she stopped. Oh, there's a message at the top of the screen, but I didn't bother reading it. Schalke is searching for an online session for your convoy. Horizon Life. Okay, now I can press. So I can't read that. I might need to fiddle with the. So Max your figure with his detail setting, uh, difficulty settings in a sec. I need to twiddle my oh, uh, yeah. contrast mm -hmm. settings, I think. I can't actually read it when it says um, press this button to do something. Uh, what's under accessibility? Oh, 
Titan gameplay? Video? Uh, I saw it earlier. Difficulty? No, no, I'm trying to change the, um, the brightness, the contrast. Which I saw earlier. Ah, brightness settings. Right, hopefully that has... Uh... So I've got ABS on on the braking rather than assisted. Yes, that just means when you brake hard, you won't just put the car into a flat spin. So, what steering normal simulation? What's that? Uh, normal because you're on a pad. Oh, okay. I highly reckon you turn the driver tires to unbeatable, by the way, because you're in multiplayer. But the scaler still applies. Oh, I see. Cool. Seventy percent bonus. Except that. Yeah, so I'm at a little bit above that, but not very much. But I'm at oh no, I'm at eighty. Um, because I've got manual driving. Because just hit the buttons anyway. Actually, while Shaka's doing that, I wonder if I can go. You can use the accessibility to um, fix the font sizes and things. Uh, yeah, that's any of the subtitles, I think. Oh. Control settings. Wheel. Can I customize my avatar further? I'm not uh, know it here. You don't seem to be able to do multiple buttons, by the way. I can't do up and down. It's like I've got, I've got obviously, I've got flappy paddles and I've got the joystick. Um, because I can't select either of these, which is weird. That like that's very very odd. That saving, what did I just change? It just said required keybinds are missing. <laughs> well, I have a handbrake, but it's not in a very good place. Be it Schalke, what I would do on your map, pick an event you've never done, preferably an on road one, drive there and just do it. Because that way you're unlocking stuff. Because what we just did, it's cool and all, but you haven't gained anything. No, but this way you'll just continue to. Unlock. Anything that's marked as new, basically. Unfortunately, I'm not the li the convoy leader, so I can't remember. Because you can then say same class as what you're driving, or you can pick a specific car. So that reminds me, what car am I in? Wrong one. Oh, hey, Dora. Where were you hiding? That's the car I want. Getting car. I would like. I love it. Getting car. Would you like to have it delivered to you? If you say no, then you don't get in the car. That's better. I'd like to point out I have a 22B here, which is a, golly, 20-year-old car now, and 67.7 miles on the odometer. That would be worth half a million or more. You would not just drive it around. Would you roll it around? No, no, you, you, like... Airlift around? I, well, yes, airlifting around would be better, though not the way Esmir does it. Like, literally, genuinely, at that point, 
um, it would be driving it anywhere. Like every mile you drove it would knock 5,000 pounds off its value. Shackle uh -oh. presents Spinball Cross Country Series. He hates me in B class. B is pretty uh, fast. Okay, waiting for players. Three out of 12. Press B to leave event. I will not. I think we have to time out that way. It's only half a minute. <laughs> Well, I'm going to drive my so car. How do you huh? move them around them? Do you like use boats? No, you, 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 you don't. You don't drive that sort of car at all. That's the point where it is. It is essentially a piece of artwork that you would sell for profit. <laughs> Waiting for players. Allocating server. Yeah, you don't. I mean, you. They. Uh, the only distance that car would go would be onto the back of a, uh, a lorry to be taken to a showroom or a uh, show event or to be sold like you just would never drive a car with that few miles worth that much well not unless you're rich as I said if you ever see a um, a Cobra there are two types of Cobra three types of Cobra there's a real Cobra which you will never see because it is worth far too much money to drive. If you ever see one, it is either a fake Cobra. It is a, a Jaguar body shell with a, co it's a Jaguar frame with a body shell on it. Or it is driven by someone who is so unbelievably rich he doesn't care. So, Nissan GTR, good choice. Subaru 22P, superb choice. Vauxhall Carlson. Alright. Yeah. Folks, is tuned. Oh, well, well, it's latest tune. Oh, go. Yeah. It's in the right class, I think. It is. The, well, you don't have a choice. It is the right class, yes. Did I choose? Are we, are we out of points? Um, I, did you choose what, sorry? I'm not in third person, and I don't know why. I Mine, show, mine started off in the wrong camera, but I just changed it. Why is it the right camera? Uh, I've got the camera view where I can't see the steering wheel. So that otherwise I see the, the real steering wheel. And then just the other side of it, the, the computer steering wheel. But yeah, I, I don't know, of course, whether or not come this time next week. I'm just like, oh, I can't bother with that. What a gimmick. Or it might be that I this is the only way I want to play games from now on. We'll see. I'd love No Man's Sky to have support for it. And Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves will support for the motion chair. So when you're on in the, the boat, the, like all of the, the rocking of the waves and everything would be amazing. Or vomit inducing. Mm, you are. I think I'll be alright. I'll rewind. No! Back! Okay, yeah, I've missed a checkpoint. What's going on? Yeah, but you're saying that checkpoint, bloody yeah. hell! But you're talking about a six-off system, Mac. Like any particular one, or? Well, I like the I like the look of the um, what do you call it? What do they call it? The your one, the sort of upside that's down. That's three, though. Sort of circle. No, that's three. Two? Yeah, three, three, three. Yeah, three. yeah. yeah no, three, yeah. but that's only got rotation, no movement. Yeah. Yeah, rotation. Your up and down, and your side to side, obviously. The problem I have with that one, I mean, apart from the fact that the backrest is an optional extra, like I'm in a really yes. nice chair. So this is my old DX rated chair. So the chair itself is a good quality, you know, fairly expensive Walls. chair. Walls. Well, it's 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 tatty, but it's, there's nothing yeah. fundamental. Oops, that's a wall. There's nothing fundamentally wrong with the chair. Whereas with the, with your the VR, you're paying money for the chair, which you don't want. Yeah. You know, you just don't want that chair, really. And it's not going to be a good chair, but you are stuck with it. Yes. I broke the car. Shaka, yeah, I think maybe I've turned damage on. Um, I can't play, but I think that I think the motion rig will make VR much, much more palatable. I think the the motion rig will actually make a lot of the VR sickness I feel go away. I, I'm I'm not quite banking on it, but I'm I'm pretty confident. So when you feel sick in VR, it is fundamentally you are expecting to feel emotion and you don't. 
And when you have expected that motion and you don't feel it a hundred times, a thousand times or ten times, you will start to feel nauseous. So I'm pretty sure in this case it will be better. So as a rule in racing games I'm pretty good. I don't get too nauseous and I am very sensitive. The times I get sensitive are when you do a jump and you do it, you're do you expecting your something to get squished or not stretched I guess. How am I in first place? Did you guys break your cars as well or are you all lost? I took more bad directions. Excellent. Uh, yeah, you have, to, you, have to get them, you have to get through them checkpoints. Um, so the reason I'm doing Forza is... Oh no, I told him to just knock me off. <laughs> uh, Sorry. I barely drive. Um, so the reason I'm doing Forza specifically is it's a good game, it's enjoyable, it has VR support, oh, sorry, it has motion platform support, but no VR support. This is the first time I have sat in the rig is today. I mean, I need to in the post this morning. So, um, yeah, my car can't accelerate anymore. So, I, 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 I haven't got it set up. So, when you're in VR, you obviously can't see anything. You very much need the ability to know where everything is. I need to get used to the rig. I need to get used to where things are and what I can touch and what I can't touch and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then, I'll, then I will do VR in it when I'm a little bit more, more confident with stuff. Uh, Max, I think you just get to chat point because you're in last place. Probably. It will tell you at the top. Oh my god, that's... Oh, I did get thoroughly confused on this. I turned off the... Um the guide aid thing oh yeah but you should just head towards the chat point i'm a bit worried this is going to tip over like i don't think it's an issue it, it it weighs about 50 kilos and all of the mass is at the bottom that genuinely felt like it was about to just fall over probably helps with the vr sickness yes if you don't ha have any signal from an organ you would worry that it's dead or sick but yes. if you get some correct input, then at least it's partially alive. Yes. It's well, breathing. okay, I have a question. Why are we all speaking in English accent when we're from outer space and there was no Britain? Yeah. What's your question? Um, so, my question is, yeah, unfortunately, if some people in the world are uh, less gifted than we are in terms of um, you know, <laughs> amount of ability, the amount of components they can feel in their bodies, so those that have got neck damage, uh -huh. nerve damage, and so forth. Um, I, I know, would I know. VR make them worse or less sort of prone to VR sickness? Well... <sighs> because you haven't got that feeling there normally. So the, there normal, are the normal situation, state of play is you can't feel anything. So there are two types of people with chronic illness in that particular circumstance. Ones who they don't suffer from this, the motion sickness at all because... Um, um, they are used to it and one to feel dizzy and sick all the time and that's definitely a thing that's, you know those people they, they're just on drama mean 24 7 so you can get all sorts you can get issues with your inner ear which means you feel dizzy like you're falling all the time i can't believe i broke my car there was a bit of a jump back there though. no no that wasn't what broke it that was um i hit a building i just went hooning off the top of there as fast as i could <laughs> They went, Wee! bang. Uh, my car's not working properly anymore. No. <laughs> I, I mean, Cy, si, I can't tell how how close I was to falling. It just felt like, I mean, it's, I mean, I, I throw my entire body weight around. It's not doing anything. And obviously, it would have to get to 45 degrees. I'd like to concede this, by the way. I can't actually get up this hill. Are you done yet, Shaka? I'm still in third. I'm, I'm rolling back down the hill. I'm, I'm sure I'm still doing the same loop over and over. So I keep missing one thing. Yeah, plus 107 minutes. 107 minutes. Minute. Why is it getting worse? Um, because that's that's how far you are behind. Yeah, this car's broken. Surely I should be able to at least nip that down a little. Bit. I can't change. I can't change gears anymore. At least now we oh, started. Good. Did not finish the timer. Okay, I'm going to have to drink them while we're waiting. Can we do a road race in, like, D's or F's? Um, so, Sai, it's fascinating. Um, 
it's almost silent. When you hit the limits, there is a kind of a woof, but it's not much. So, I mean, I've got no... You can hear in the background nothing, really. The steering wheel is way, way louder. But the loud part is the box. It's got two 40mm fans in it, and they just run flat out. Now, there are specific warnings about not letting the motor get hot, saying you must never let the motor get above 70 degrees. Right now, that motor is colder than my room, so I'm not sure quite what people are doing to them. We're turning up full blast, obviously. Uh, well, I, I, I guess when they're in heavy use, you don't measure their temperature. I, well, I, it also depends how... So this one is perfectly balanced, so right now I am absolutely balanced there. But yeah, mines are currently out of... Uh, is that the set, probably? Uh, uh, what is it? Hardware? Oh, tuning, sorry. But yeah, right now, the pitch of the roll is set to six out of a possible... <laughs> 20. <laughs> I'm not going any higher than that, and I can't believe that's me saying that. Um, but yeah, I can. Uh, I've got zero yaw. I've got. Um, then I've got stuff like sway. So when you're doing a long slide, so you can tweak it up and down wonderfully, and it's really good. And then on top of that, I've also got the shake system, so I can actually uh, have a little bit of vibration on different parts. I'll just put a little bit on for the. Um, And then it also supports wind, which I might get because it's cheap. And then it also supports tachometers and LED strips. So I can actually have There's one guy. I saw he put a strip of LED lights around his television to represent his RPM. So as his, so as his um, RPM went up, the light, the, it filled up the sides. And then he had it. So, you know, you get the, the, the lights at the beginning. It goes red, 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 green. His the back of his television went red, 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 green. So you can control that. Um, with the traction loss, just kind of wibbles it left and right. I'd like to point out, by the way, this is on an M2, running on an overclock 8700K, and I'm still just sitting here twiddling my thumbs at loading screens. And that's the best bit. Right there, I just felt it change gear. So it spawned my car on the world and changed gear, and the seat goes. Boom. What is this guy talking about? Sorry. Okay, I'm back. I was talking at me. Be a preferably something shaker without the words cross country in it. Oh, I'm gonna check if I got damage on. I'm sure I am. I didn't limit anything. I am in D-class car. Okay, we will we will choose D-class cars then. Oh, oh fuck! Oh duck! Okay, I I pressed the wrong button. I've updated your. I went to put my hand on the keyboard. Two out of three. Yeah, I went to put my hand. Can you cancel? I went to, went to um join, and I missed and hit the circle because. The steering wheel doesn't light up. So I, it's very hard for me to see where the steering wheel is because I've got a very big, bright screen and a black steering wheel. So yeah, I don't... Oh, hold on. I've got a dialog box. Can I click on it? B. Oh, fuck off, game. Yes. Enter. Join. D. D. It's not limiting it to D, by the way. No, I know. But we are playing fairly. Okay. I chose something without two seconds to spare. I think this... Oh, yeah, this looks awesome, but it's not. It's playing music at me again. Great, there's my copyright strike. Fuck you, Forza. I can't believe I can't turn off the music in this game. Well, you can. No, you can't. You have to mute Forza. You have to mute well, Forza. yeah, but then I can't hear the... Then I can't hear... You can't hear the engine. In the engine, yeah. Something. yeah. Okay, we've Reliance Super. Very low, D -class Wait, I ah yeah. right, yeah, mine's four hundred. I won't change gear. Oh, I'm beginning to wonder if my calibration's off. 
Mine can't even get the hill. <laughs> it's in second. <laughs> Come on, faster! Oh, 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 oh! Come on! Come on! I'm surprised you can't. Wow. Is yeah. it a... so? I'm surprised that D goes all the way down. If that makes sense. Like there should be an E oh, and an D's F. Lowest. I thought it was the second lowest. I, I think D's the lowest, and it goes down to a hundred, and there aren't any cars less than a hundred. Okay, I will only keep it in first gear and I won't break. <laughs> I didn't make... This is all going to go horribly wrong. Uh, no, Comp Lover, I get copyright strikes in this game constantly. If I turn the music on, I get a copyright strike. But I get copyright strike on the music between the levels. Yeah, seriously, Comp Lover, um, there's, been, there's been a whole thing about this on uh, Twitch recently. Twitch have just enabled uh, DMCA takedowns, and every, all of the, the streamers have gone fucking mental going, uh, but now I can't now I can't stream anything. But yeah, it absolutely does. Well, the Fortunecraft music was, was, wasn't really the, the guy's fault. It was just that he registered it, and he goes, Look, you never got a copyright strike. Right, that's not the same. So you get a um, basically you can't um, use the the sound effects in your own composition without getting adverts on it, and then the composer gets the money. But he got really annoyed because he was constantly getting people asking him, and he's like, "It's fine, it's fine, it's fine." So in the end, I got rid of the music and put my own stuff in. This is really hard, by the way, without breaking. I reserve the right to use reverse if I need to, though. Yeah. You're not very far behind, though. Sure, this drives like a Dalek. I mean, what you should do, you should upgrade your cars, but keep them within D. Because you can upgrade it to S if you so want to, but you want cars in different classes. Yeah, but um, so, you can limit us all to the same car, but it's easier to limit to the same class. Um, and in that, or, you know, say manufacturer or whatever. But then if you if you upgrade your car to just a D, um, don't go around, D is not very fast. Um, but it will go up hills. Just. No, I mean, if you... My struggle to go up Yeah, but if you upgrade it to a, a 400 D, not a 100 D. But I, I really think that it should be... D is 400, E is 500, uh, is 300, F is 200, and G is 100. Not the current thing, which is just dumb. Oh dear, there's a whole bunch of corners coming up. I guess if the low ratings are very empty, then it doesn't make sense to have them. They might collapse them. But like support them. Like people trying every class. The low population is low rating is populated by many classes. People are spent really properly. Yeah, I mean with the with the D class, you're not supposed to get a a, a, a Robin Reliant and keep it stock. You want you want to keep it in like if you're going to race online in a D class race, you wouldn't unless it's a stock race. You would have the most modded you can, whilst it's still in the class that you're entering to. That was uh, quite relaxing by comparison, by the way. I like that. But rolling. I focus better on the feeling. And there was scandal notches. Yeah, I mean, the solution is to organize races that are in bands of a number. To enter this race, you must have a car between 100 and 180 or whatever. Easy. But the game doesn't support that. Of course, the number is one dimensional where cars have many properties. So the way that you collapse them into a number would be done differently. Yeah, but I mean, unless you're, you you upgrade, I mean, that's that's then becomes a bit of skill because the idea is that you upgrade the car in a way. 
I mean, I, I can give it all maximum speed, but no turning is not going to win any races. So if I turn stream mode on, probably too late, then I should only get hospital music radio, which isn't um, copyrighted. Like, specifically. Oh, is that a thing, is it? Yeah, but um, it doesn't record that setting. It's not sticky. Oh, that's helpful. Check out the engine turn. That's awesome. So this car's quite it's quite heavy, it's quite slow, it's like brake. It barely moves. It's like ah, that's fine. Well I do that in like the BAC mono, I'm gonna if I'm not careful, if I wasn't strapped in, I could end up pulling my teeth out of the steering wheel. <laughs> it's at over a G it can accelerate at. Which is a lot. So that's that's the same as my motorbike yeah, can but, achieve. But it can you you're not you only accelerate you at one G, so whatever your weight is, it's not you know. Yeah, but what I mean, a, a G of acceleration is a lot of acceleration. So it, it's, you know, it, it, it can... Oh, God. Like, when it's smacking me into something, it's not messing about. Is my point. It's not... It's not it's, it's, would you have those straps a little looser? Or is that, or would that mean you're, like, getting thrust into the... Thrown um, around too much? No, if I, undo, if I loosen the straps, the seat moves, and I just, I just sit in the seat and react oppositely. Oh, you sort of just balance it out. Yeah. yeah, which misses the point. As I said, it, it, because I am um, aiming for this to be a VR thing, um, then I do want it to be correct, which is obviously the seat moves and drags me around with it. Just like okay. reality. I've got, I've got several barn finds. Yeah, you probably will do. Do they disappear? No. You've also, I, I had about seven in my garage that they take days to unlock some of them. So all the ones that I, I picked up for will turn up in my uh, um, garage. Let's get back on the road. I really want to get rid of this taxi I'm in now. How do I change the bloody current vehicle? Uh, change car. There you change go. Car. The silly thing is, so Shaka's the leader. Shaka should just be able to select. Let's do this right. So I'm having to drive there and go this way. Yeah. Like, free roam's cool and all, but after a while, you're like, I just want to do the race. There's no random chaos happening in this game that would entertain. Well, it's a, it's a little bit, but not quite the same. Yes, I don't know if you I can't hear it there, but if I hit the handbrake, suddenly the, the chair vibrates because I've got traction loss. How about that? But yeah, I, I, I think I will get the upgrade. And I might get the dampers too, which will smooth out some of the slight uh, graunchiness isn't the right term. Lumpiness, I guess, of some of the movement. Erratic, erratic, erratic. No, it, it's because it's going. When it goes from one to five, it, it jumped from one to five and only very briefly exists at two, three, and four. As opposed to being a smooth transition between one and five, it's a, it's one, two, three, four, five. But the damping um, dampers smooth it out and apparently make it a lot nicer. I'm still enjoying, on the opposite day one, I'm still enjoying the just the. Uh, fairly bone-shattering ride. I'm joining... I'm going to be stuck in a tree. <sighs> so the Twitch stop probably happened because music industry like suddenly woke up to the music rights there. Uh, no. Um, why did they turn it on? There was a specific reason they turned it on. Bug, I read about this. I mean, if nothing else, Twitch are... They're not complicit. They do get safe harbour, but um, they are going. They basically they've been ignoring it too much, too long. So people are not happy uh, that Twitch is just basically broadcasting loads of music. Notice I have no music now for no reason. I have my guy just dancing. I guess um, it's good that some rules are followed by bigger players, but it 
kind of changes the character. Yeah. But the thing is, no one should have been streaming music on their channel anyway. No one. Ever. It is not legal. If you get away with it, it doesn't mean it was legal. I mean, silly, this is a car I own. I should have taken your car, which is a lot better. And so, I'll see you guys at the finish line. Dora, why are you being... can't see. Oh, hello Dora. Oh dear. I don't know if you can see Dora on the webcam. She is now staring at the screen. She's like, Father, it all moves. She's looking around for the mouse cursor. You can come and sit on my lap if you like. She's so not a lap cat, by the way. She's never sat on my lap. Except when I force her or I'm, clean or I'm cutting her nails. Lots of new cables in the room, though. Sorry? Lots of new lovely cables to chew. No. Actually, all the cables are armoured with this. Because obviously... Oh, right. Yeah, she's about to jump in front of the television. There we go. Thank you, Dora. And now she's jumped off. There's a wall here, yes. No, this. <laughs> You're going to have to describe... If she'd stayed, you'd have to describe quite a lot of uh, things. Great clean racing. I'm nowhere near anyone. Of course, I'm doing clean racing. You could swear more than it would be not so clean. Do you remember when the Xbox One launched with Kinect, and one they made a big deal about um, lots of games having Kinect support, so you could talk to the game and give it instructions and stuff. And um, Without telling anyone, EA, because it was recording, you basically you would set up the Kinect, the way it worked, you'd have to look for certain keywords. So if it heard a certain keyword, it would then try and analyse the sentence the keyword was in and give you some text. But EA programmed in a bunch of swear words into it. So it wasn't always on, it wasn't sending it back to Microsoft, but basically if you said, fuck shit, bollocks, bastard, piss, or anything like that, it would then <laughs> send you an email in-game giving you a warning to not swear from the ref and fine you in-game money. Which is really cool. And everyone's like, I didn't agree for you to listen to me all the time. What the fuck? <laughs> I think you'd be, you'd be surprised if people sign up for it. Well, yeah. So like, yeah, yeah, get on with it. I don't care. I'm not... Read this. Scroll to the bottom and hit A. I'm like, yeah, but I'm just going to scroll to the bottom here. I'm not going to read but, any of it. Doesn't mean I've legally kind of agreed to it. There's... EU are... Save to... Uh process abstract things because if you have to is have to handle uh, data privacy issues on top of some actual issue that's going to be complicated so yeah. having a trickster that brings up the more abstract or no, non prioritized issues is kind of useful in that sense well i mean the connect it wasn't it wasn't like transmitting everything back to microsoft or anything all of the weird accusations going around it was literally set up for a bunch of keywords um, but um, the thing about EULAs is they're not legally enforceable. Haven't been for years. Because um, yeah. obviously we've got a lot of uh, games now trying. But they, are, they, they, they are for when like Eve Online, for example, is a classic one. They'll go, well, you're you know, botting or whatever. They're kicking, you know, banging. Oh your yeah, account. yeah, and take them to court. So it's, it's for take that the, sort of Take them to court, yeah. and you'll probably win. Yeah. But you're probably not going to. But if it's something like, um, I wrote a mod in a game and the EULA says they own it, and then I go and sell it to a publisher for $10 million, watch it evaporate. It's not worth the paper it's printed on. Yeah. But one step towards them sending the data somewhere is that they can process it locally. For what, sorry? But for the Kinect stuff? Yeah. Yeah, there was no no set like Connect it was entirely local. Like they always Yeah, but now they are doing that that if they get used to it they might be tempted to take next step of sending it somewhere. Yeah, but Siri sends it remotely. If I say, Okay, hey Siri, it then transmits all the rest of it up to Apple. It's specifically not done on the phone. Because the point is you can then throw a supercomputer at it. 
But, like, no one's reading it. No one's listening to it. It's just... Oh, I've got a new horn that goes, no. The way I look at EULA is a bit like um, uh, buying a house. You know, you've got loads and loads of paper that you have to sign, and if you don't sign it, you don't get the house. Yes. You know, so just get on with it. So I do. Yeah, we haven't got much choice. You're like, well, I want to do this thing, and yeah. if there's something in there I shouldn't do, um, then I won't do that particular thing. Like... If, if there are two games I like to play and I'm going to write a mod and one of them gains ownership and one doesn't, I'll write it in the one that doesn't. Yeah, that's that's just uh, that straightforward. You're through to round seven of the Horizon Road oh, Race boy. Series. I've been looking at your race data and I'm not surprised by this at all. Thank you. Keep it up. I will. The lady's talking to me. Um, give me two seconds. I'm just going to go to my house. Or a house. How do I go to a house? I've, I've bought, I've unlocked a bunch of quick race boards, so it should be a bit quicker. Oh, I wanted to teleport there. It's 10 kilometers away. I've got a free car. I really wish reality was anything like this game. Actually, screw that. I'm going to pick up that. So if you pick up all the fast travel boards in the game, you can then tra travel around for free. If you pick up half the fast travel boards, you can travel around at half cost and so on. So if you see them, they're like a little purple box with a white diamond uh, lightning bolt in it. Like a white flash. Grab it. A lot of these more realistic drivers make you like drive sensibly when the penalty for actually hitting a wall is quite high drive what? Them and you don't hit them in this game you can you can have races that are asphalt only so if you go off um it doesn't count you can also turn on sin damage but i believe that's only car to car or car to how can i put it like real collision like real things you hit because there's a whole bunch of stuff in this game that you just, it just kind of explodes when you touch it. But if you hit a building or something, you'll do damage to the car. It's an odd decision. Like the whole... I like the freedom. I think it's a great idea. Having it so I can just ignore it and go straight across the landscape if I want to is not such a good idea. And I, I can't really say I understand it. Makes it feel like a world. No, it doesn't. Have you ever driven a car off ro off road, Shalka? In two hundred meters. In some ways. You have driven a car off like at speed in like a field or a, or a something. Nah. <laughs> nah. Okay. At five miles Maybe an hour. Maybe some runner style things. All right. Okay. Well, if if you're in a car off road at five miles an hour, it's not very nice. At ten miles an hour, you wonder if your neck's going to snap. And above 15 miles an hour, you're just waiting for a bit of your car to just break. Give up. Yeah. yeah. It's like you, you, you cannot drive a car off-road like we are doing. You would do it for 100 yards and something would just snap. Give. I guess they could be more strict on having to actually drive sensibly. Well, it will... People to get annoyed by the realism on Well... <laughs> I, there's this realism and there's just ridiculousness though like if you want to earn skill points your best bet your best bet for earning skill points by you is just to belt across the landscape because you get uploads it just goes air wreckage air air wreckage drift air spin i can knock up 50 or 100 thousand skill points quite easily just by driving off road Where's this? Oh, oh my no. god! Ow! Fuck! Bastard! Piss! Yeah, it was kind of confusing when it gave points for skillful things and then it gave points for like bumble things. Or, like, oh god! Things. Wait, so don't start the don't start the next mission up. Are you on, are you on the stream? Yeah. Right. See that fast travel board there? That's what I have to get. It's up in the air. So that means I gotta go. I gotta no. Need to get you want to get that. No, I, I do need to get it because I want to save money. But to get it, 
I have to drive slowly off the cliff? I don't want to drive slowly off the cliff. Right, let me just switch out for a four-wheel drive car. I should probably start setting up favourite cars as well. Oh, I unlocked the Scout, by the way. The 800 Scout. It just popped up. I was like, yeah, I'll have that. Come on, let's go. Okay, so I have to drive very slowly off this... God, got it. Fuck. Bloody hell. Okay. You may now enter over an event. I do want to. I do want to customize my horn, though. Uh, I think I can teleport to my house. I'm trying to find this barn. So please don't start on that oh. event. Well, what? Well, I don't have to, I don't have to do Wait. Oh, turn left. Turn left. Ninety degrees. What? Turn left, left. Ninety degrees. degrees. Yep. Yeah. Oh, left. Oh, that's it. Left a bit more. Left a bit more. Right in front of you. Right a bit. See it? Right more. Right 90. Right 130. I can't. I don't know how to zoom the map in, I'm afraid. You're right on top. Yeah, yeah, you're right on top okay. of it. Yeah. Um, I have to Why would there be a barn in the middle of nowhere it's got a garage door and everything on it? But no one's looked in it for 20 years and there's a car worth half a million. Yeah. Yeah. What I mean, car? It's all smashed up. I mean, really. What car have you got? I think it's an Audi Quattro. Ah, I've got that one. Nice. Sounds good. It's a complete pile of just batshit. Bag wank. No, they're awesome cars. They're just batshit. They're just completely bonkers. Right. Then. The Quattros are one of the fastest rally cars. Right, garage, apply our oh, car horns, standard horns, musical horns. Oh man, this got some. Oh, oh, Rider of the Valkyries. Hold to preview horn. Hercules likes that. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. Oh, that Halo. Is the correct response. Wait, sorry. Are the Halo themes no, the... locked? Oh, no. I presume you don't know who Hercules is, but anyway. I do I know who Hercules is, but I'm just not quite sure why. I bet you don't. Um, I, I know of... What? A Hercules. Uh, well, I know of a Hercules. I don't know if it's a the Hercules. Oh, it's definitely not the Hercules. That would be stupid. I don't understand. It said I unlocked a horn, and I can't find it. I unlocked one called No, but I can't find it. Oh. And I have started the tournament. Yes. Ah, there it is. No. Oh, fuck. This interface is awful. The worst thing is it absolutely knows what steering wheel I've got. And instead of bothering to show the uh, um, the PlayStation controls, it just says press button 4. I'm like, which one is button 4? Okay, class B. Go my pretzel then, with my new horn. <laughs> So I haven't unlocked the Halo theme yet, which I quite like the idea of that in... Uh... 30 seconds. Two out of three. Okay, Max? I'm trying to find a barn. Another one? Yeah. Okay. Greedy, well, aren't I? Well, we're, we're going to do it without you then. And if you join in the next 12 seconds. 10. 5. 
三一エクステンジョンあああああああああああああああああ I've cancelled. I didn't mean to. I don't. So I've got an icon in the bottom left. Show me that I can go back in. The only I know where to do that is to wiggle the mouse and then press B on the keyboard and then accept it again. I don't think is the sensible way of doing it. Do you know where the barn is, Max?、Uh, I'm in the purple circle. Hold on a sec. Let me leave the adventure. I could just keep resetting it. I will. Uh, let me see if it's one of the ones I've done. Where are you? Uh, change filter, button six.、Mm. Ah, there you go, yeah. Due south, 90 degrees right. You know, we're near it. Slightly right. Can I zoom in using the wheel mouse?、Oh, of course I can.、Um, right more, another 15 degrees. Another 10 degrees, 15, 20. Dead in, straight in front of you. We're going past it. Nope, keep going, straight in front of you. I'm not seeing it. Slightly right, 90 degrees right. I have developed a weird clutch、oh, reflex. Okay. Now I'm instantly letting off gas. Oh, it's nice. Doing switches. What have we got? Jaguar. Ah,、uh, cool. Okay, s h a l k a I am in. I'm a c t u a l l y r e c o r d what the button is, let me know. I just wiggle the mouse and press B to accept. I assume there's a better way of doing it than that. Jaguar E type SF S1. Ten seconds. 50 players in session. Have you got the invite?、Oh. If you wiggle the mouse, you get a little thing on the right hand side just above your map that says press B. Above the map? Yes, above the map. Above the map? Yes. Nope. I've got A751. Well, kind of、no, no, look, what? No, in the, in the, in the, in the, the, the free roam mode. Oh, right out there. Yeah, above the mini map, sorry.、Uh, left bumper. Left up.、Uh, I don't know what button that is on my steering wheel, but alright. Oh no, he's allocating the server and I've just found my. Board. Oh, I think I'll be on top of the church. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it then. Wait, where is it? Oh, what? Yeah, I'm not doing that one. Max r i z m has joined the session. Fast traveling, other players. Silent music. That's the weird thing. They completely expected the music to play. So this is just silent with my guy dancing to nothing. <laughs> there, there, is lots, there are lots of you in chat, by the way. Feel free to, feel free to say anything. What the fuck? Why would you do this? This is terrible.、Uh, can I come around your house? Anywhere in between. And、uh, I was watching someone、uh, the other day, and he described himself as the worst sim racer on YouTube. And it's like, dude, I can't even win the first race sometimes. And, like, I played Project Cars 2 the other day, and I came last in the first race in the game. Like, these people are so good, and they all go, oh, I'm so terrible. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. And they're, all doing, and they're all doing it. Yeah, but when you're really good, it just makes it like, like you haven't got a clue what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, they're all doing heel and toe breaking. And here I am going, oops, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> like here, I could do with pressing the handbrake button, but I, I can't remember what it is, whether it's forwards or back. I do have a handbrake coming, though. Oh, really? <laughs> what is it?、Uh, how does it integrate into the system? It's just USB. So, it might not、oh. integrate at all on this game. <laughs> But it's a different joystick, so it might do. 
but it's mostly it's for Dirt Rally. I, I'd like to get good at Dirt Rally. It, 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 really, really good. But simmy, really, really simmy rallying. And rallying is hard, much harder than, you know, asphalt racing. Asphalt? Tarmac. Wow. But hang around Americans too much. Uh, well, oh. we don't live in America. I it was Adam or something. A tarmac Adam is the correct name, but we don't say, we don't say we say tarmac, but we don't ever say asphalt either. Yeah. If, if there's a specific difference between them, I don't know it. Um, so I, if I hit you with my car, now I access the ability to punch people over the internet. Um, yes, actually, you have. Hey! Oh, we can try that. I don't know if you can ram each other flat out, though, can you? Like, if There's do, a thought. If we do a head to head ram, I don't think it counts. I think we'll ghost it'll, out. It'll phase out. It'll phase out before you try and do a head to head. Uh, but when, if we're a f if, even if it's your friend in your convoy? It'll still phase out. I know it does um, for no, randoms. You didn't get those, those backpacks you wear that rumble. Yes. Punch you and things. There's one what available for this. It's, it, like, yeah. fold, it folds into the seat. So that you sit on it, and apparently it's amazing. I'm like, oh, okay. But yeah, you could actually punch someone on the internet with it. Are you still right on my ass, Shalka? I'm not. I've got a green dot over me on the map, but it's so on me, I can't yeah. tell if it's Shalka or actually just me. Shalka's a uh, quarter of a second behind you. Tenth of a second. Oh, he's so close that he's ghosted out. That's what it is. So there's no collision. We have to be out. There we go. We have to be outside each other to unghost. I don't think we were close. Oh, you just really that close up my ass. I haven't got glance left and right hooked up. I miss VR. I like VR because you can just check your blind spots. So they, I, I think you're to my left. I'm taking the corners as wide as I can. Just ramming. No! That's a wall. Yeah, but how come you glance off the wall and I just stop dead? I did the turn a bit more correctly and a bit more carefully. Damn it. Um, yeah, but ramming him, Max, unfortunately, is just going to cause my car to crash. Oh, I that. That was a very close race, Sharka. Well done. Well, we'll talk from that last bit. <laughs> Where I crashed. So Grand Theft Auto has the support for the platform too. Only via a mod. I'm wondering how it handles punching people. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, um, there is a list on the website of all the games that supported. And they very cheekily put Star Wars Squadrons on. But it only supports Squadrons via what's called joystick telemetry. So if I push left... The platform tilts left. I push right, the platform tilts right and forwards and backwards. Um, but apparently, that's enough. I'm going to check Dora's not being naughty. Enough for what? Uh, enough to convince you in VR, sorry. So it, do, it means that um, it's not actually obeying what your physical ship is doing. Um, it's only obeying what the joystick's doing. But of course, on a spaceship, there's not really a situation where you push left and the spaceship doesn't. So it, it's good enough. Um... And I would love to play a lot more squadrons in VR than I am able to, and that might be the solution. Uh, unfortunately, that is that requires a, oh, a premium subscription. That's not much; it's like sixty dollars a year or something like that. Um, there is like a platform. Sorry. From squadrons or from platform from, from, or from, from anything. What? So this is for Sim Racing Studio. So that means that. Um, any game, I can essentially I can just control the motion platform with a joystick. Think of it that way. But it means if you're playing squadrons, it will basically work. Um, Schalke, do you have the world's fastest taxi missions available to you? They're in Edinburgh. They're quite close. I don't know what they would be called. They're called the world's fastest taxis. It's yellow. Hold on, can I have a look? Um, it's a picture of a yellow speedometer. Actually, if you follow me... Oh my gosh, there's 30 chapters. If you follow me, I'll drive you to it, because you're the host. 400 meters. Turn left. There isn't much.
much primaries and why the missions unlock in the order that they unlock? Um, just on the left here. Do you have that? World's fastest rental. No mission available in this location for me. Ah, oh, just make me the leader. These are quite cool. These you have to race a very fast car, and I mean the fastest cars there are from point A to point B. How does that work? Uh, you have to go into the convoy menu and then uh, press A or enter only. How you go to the convoy menu? Uh, pause it and then. On the bottom, button three, Horizon Convoy, uh, which is Y. Are you not joining us in, in Forza, Tad? Shaka, so you just pause it and then it's at the bottom? And then just slap me, and you can make me the leader. Player accents don't include make leader. Uh, no, no, not right click, left click. Just select me. You got manage convoy. At the bottom, you got manage convoy, and you can select me as well. It's, what, it's one of is whichever one you haven't selected. Button for is it square? No triangle. Manage convoy, invite friends, leave no, convoy, no. convoy privacy. No, no, click on me. Or press Play A. Action. Show game card. Mute. Report offensive license plans. Kick from convoy. We have creative hood. Ah. Uh... But I gave, I made you the leader earlier. Why is for why are forces menu so appallingly awful? Uh, Tad, if you're not any good at it, you should download it because I am truly awful at these games. What am I missing here, Shaka? Why is this difficult? We I did it earlier to you. Uh, I mean, I can leave the convoy and invite you. No, I won't. I can't navigate the Xbox Live menus without having to, like, flail over there I for a keyboard. I can promote realism to convoy leader. Well, promote him to the leader then, and then Max, promote me to leader. Yeah, yeah, convoy yeah, leader. Make me convoy leader, maybe. Yes, boss. Um. Uh, it might be because I'm in a different phase to you. Like, uh, if, if not, drive to where I am and see if you can do world's fastest rentals. Right. Let's make the transition peaceful. Uh, Is it not there? Just on your left. Um, nope. Okay, can you make, make can you try and make me the leader? It might be because I am in uh pause, manage convoy, sorry, horizon convoy, and then click on me. Or press Switch A. You. Press. Uh, View code, pub kick from convoy, port offensive license plate, mute, show gamer card. So you guys can't make me the leader? Apparently not. Brilliant. Oh well, just uh, drive to the nearest event. Oh, or make Shalka the leader. Drive, or, or drive to the nearest event, stick us in it. If it's something that if you have yelled at leader, you can, you can be made leader. Then, then I remember. Kind of yeah, but I couldn't invite you into the level, you say. I couldn't invite you in. I, I had to make you the leader. You weren't eligible for something. Because I've, I'm have i in a different... I'm in spring, I think. Because you guys... But you guys have unlocked all the seasons. I don't understand. Why I can't see Max anymore. I can see you. Okay, are you put it, just putting just it into a level? Just to your right. Um, how do I drive in? View it. the beauty spot. I can't do. No, that's that's it. that's a beauty. A that's a beauty spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was <laughs> like, there's one just. It's one just to the side. If you look on the map, there's one very close to it. There's one just. 
Just down. Just down. Here. Road Racing Edinburgh Station Circus. Yeah, just here. There's one. Nope. It's on here. Uh, okay. okay. On the mini-map, can you see anything? It will say new. No. Okay, press M. What's the closest thing with the word new written under it? Oh, blimey. Everything's just gone walkies. Why is everything walkies? There's nothing in the map. Have you turned your filter off? Press whatever the filter button. Well, it says at the bottom, filter. No, it doesn't. Are you on the map? Set route, close map, group route, toggle activity panel. Mm. Uh, see, I've got set route, close map, toggle activity panel, my horizon life change filter. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, you're on the, just a normal map, yeah? Just a world map. Well, how come I've got more menu options than you? On those, it damn must be. Um, just just wiggle the mouse and hit page down. That's the filter on the keyboard. Map. So it's just the map is empty. Bar the, some of the large things like speed, Ch Lego Speed Champions, Eliminator. It uh, might just be you haven't. Button, no, you. Ha what but yeah, just doing? press press page down. What happens? Page down. Uh, page up, page, page up is toggle activity panel. No, but what's page, just press page down, what happens? Nothing happens. Okay, so if you look on the screen, you see I get this whacking great filter to do all these sort of... Oh, page up is in the corner there, but nothing... It's got a zero beside it. What's page up to? Page up, it's, it's, I don't know what page up does, but... Left bumper. But I, yeah, okay, but it's page down is the filter. I'm assuming you've just filtered everything off. You can't see any events anywhere on the map, anywhere, with the word new written in yellow. Beneath I can't them. see any page, any, no. Oh, I've got one, one, just one. Where is it? Maybe Horizon you Festival. Maybe just because you, you've never been the host, you've never actually done any. Maybe. It's going to cost me 10,000 crew. Well, you could just drive there or spend the money. Okay, um, how about I set a waypoint? You can group, set group. Yep, set group route. Let's go there. Yeah. The lady said turn around when it's safe to do so, but I did so anyway. Fell so there was a player house for sale. Edinburgh Castle. Yes. <laughs> I know, you're like, uh. Also, it only costs 15 million, and I'm pretty sure Edinburgh Castle will cost you a lot more than 15 million. Max, every time you hit me with a lamppost, my entire seat shakes. Oh, God. It's, that's crazy. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I would imagine it would be public property in real life. Um, I don't know if Edinburgh Castle is privately owned. I, I honestly, uh, I've never been... Oh, no, I have been to Edinburgh. But I didn't look into buying the castle. Oh, nice corner. Is there like a separation for the uh, Queen, which is her private property and which is the Crown's property? Um, I don't know. I, I assume the Queen can buy her own stuff. You know, I, I, I assume she's got pairs of knickers which don't belong to the country, for instance. Um, uh, again, not looked into it. Queen's arse wiper. I mean, I, I know some people are very, very staunch royalists and some people are very, very against it. Uh, the simple fact is the royal family brings in way more tourism money than they cost us. Vastly more. It's not even funny. Um, and stuff like the royal weddings rake in billions of dollars for tourism and... Um, uh, what's the word? Um, hospitality. Hospitality. and But no, stuff like commemorative plates and things like that. Like, oh, yeah. whether you're for Tax. or against the royals, the point is the royals make a profit. They don't cost the, the, com the country money, they make the country money. And that's, that's it. At that point, there is no discussion. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not race. I'm just going to see if I can get this uh, fast travel board in here. I guess some guy could argue that the mascot that was better so that would make even more money. You want to come up with a mascot better than the Queen? Well, good luck. Wow. Yeah. Hey, 24 out of 25. My travel, my quick travel is now half price. 
um, your mum, you're quite welcome to join. I mean, this is just an open session. Um, just if you have me on Xbox Live, you might join me. But I, I don't think I know who you are. I'm afraid. Also, I suck at this game. I properly, absolutely suck at racing games. The only reason I don't look way, way worse is Shadow Max suck almost as hard as me, so I look like I almost know what I'm doing. If I was playing against, you know, no offence lads, if I was playing against someone half competent, I wouldn't even see them. <laughs> this guy's name is Andrex and he's got two A's and two X's. Three A's. Is it three A's? Andrex! Uh, which Hercules yeah. are you going on about then, Max? The horse. You're right, I wasn't thinking of that Hercules. What, who the fuck is Hercules the horse? Well, he's not known as Hercules, so it's just Hercules. Hmm. Well, uh, yes. Tessetto and Son. Oh, yes. My goodness me, that's going back some. Oh, yes. Whenever I hear that tune, I, I think um, oh, there's a skit in there somewhere. It's, oh, Hercules likes that. Ears prick up or something. Yeah. Was that the horse that pulled the, uh, the rag and boat? Yeah, I don't actually like remember. I don't remember seeing the horse or the car. Mostly, it was just it took place in the living room. Mostly, didn't it? Maybe they were, you know, uh, well, in the back. In the back, back yeah. There. There's a board on the right to smash. By the way, try and get it just as you go past. Whoops, wrong gear. See, this is when fucking Jimmy Broadbent's like, I'm the worst sim racer on the internet. And I accidentally jam it up to about 15,000 RPM by hitting change down gear twice. <laughs> we'll be able to do that? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, in reality, what would happen is the engine would stop turning and possibly jump out of the bonnet. <laughs> Good old Rodney. It's certainly never change gear ever again. Let's, let's just put it like yeah. that. I've did, I mean, I've, I have actually done that. I actually changed down too soon on a racetrack. Um, and actually, um, it, the wheels locked up. But I it didn't. I, did, I, I realised and I slammed on the clutch. Not enough room to donut here. There's another board to your right, Max, if you haven't got it. Really? Well, if you, it depends. Is there one on your map? Mm -hmm. Well, look, it's right there. Is it a purple board right literally where you are? Yep, got it. I'm going to use my horn more. I, I'm sure I hooked up the handbrake to something, but I can't work out whether it's forwards or backwards. Like, this is I don't know, this is literally the car I drive, and I can tell you for nothing, I've got the handbrake on in my car, nothing happens. Okay, we are advancing to the Horizon roster. We have advanced to the Horizon roster. I pity being a, uh, something by myself, but I, I hit accept. Yeah, I've got unskippable bollocks on the screen. Then here's how the game works. I'm like, I've been playing it for ages. Piss off. Oh dear. No, no, you've got to watch this. It's very important. I guess we just never made done. we just never made you the leader, did we? Uh, you made the leader, yeah. Yeah, but we've we, we, we... No, I think what will happen. Max has done some of the progress, but what's happened is that Max hasn't done like the first part. So when he's done this, he will suddenly leap forwards like 300 points in the progress. I think so. I so, hope so. Oh, get on with it. Blimey, it's like blah, 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 blah. 
You can race against real people. Yes, I know. Oh, uh, when I was playing, because um, Malcolm and I we played Project Cars two for a bit, and oh god, every screen. You go to the garage. He goes, "Here's your garage." Well, you can select. I'm like, dude, I'm not fucking garages. You don't even explain to me that the garage screen is where I select my car. What makes you think I need that sort of level of help? Explain to me what a driver tire is, maybe. Oh, it just means everything goes sort of snowy. Oh, it's loading something, and then there's some things. Right, let's play this finally. Uh, what do I want? I don't know. I'm hoping you're still in. Nope, the... percent, nope, percent. Something, 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 something. Oh, there's some bitch ones in there. I don't know what I'm doing here. Well, I'm yeah, I, I'm worried you're about to start something by yourself. I mean, I don't think I'm in your convoy. No, I'm. Oh, I'm come out. Tree! Oh, wow, blah, 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 more blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I, oh, wow. I nearly stopped playing this game because I'm tired of talking at me, but now they don't do it anymore. This is basically very, very rare talking. Oh, I've just got to get me to play with him. I've just got a loud brub, but but no on-screen prompt. <laughs> that was Cortana. <laughs> oh. Uh, ah, I'm not online. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, no, I am. Well, you are. Oh, I'm quite confused. I think you should just make yeah. Shao could the leader. Yeah, Max really is playing solo. Oh, so, right. yeah, go to the convoy and make Max Malcolm the leader. I'm now the leader of my can council. I can't choose to start playing Horizon Life together. Can you help me start the matchmaking yeah. for your one? Oh, we can convoy leader. You yeah. should make, yeah, no, that's fine. Make, yeah, quick, make, uh, match make for our convoy, Max. Uh, hold on. Uh, 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 was I, was I, was no, I not available? Was uh -oh. I not clear? I wish you to match make for our convoy. Yes, player so, is not available. I think something's gone bad. No, bad. no, you, you're, you're. There you go. You, you weren't. You were playing, playing solo. It says. Yeah. yeah. Now you've now you created an online session. Yeah. When you clicked for Horizon, whatever the fuck it was, you just took it into single player. How do I undo the thing? You're now creating an online session. Hooray! Your session ready. Press this button to I join. I have not qualified for Horizon roster yet. I can't join. There we go. Right. right, so... You're not in the session, apparently. Sure. Yeah, I think you should just make Shaka the leader, and we'll just stick I'll, with I'll that. Just, I'll just invite Shaka. <laughs> make him the leader, yeah, and then just, he'll do it. Come on, Shaka. So I can't be the leader because I've played it too much, and I've, I've unlocked something you guys haven't. And you can't be the leader because you haven't unlocked enough. My mouse has gone to sleep, We it? think. Is it wireless? Oh. No, it's not wireless, no. Oh, you don't need the, you don't need the cursor. Working. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to invite Shaka. You can do that just by pause, then why I think Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought I've got to confirm. Oh, now he's a mate. Oh, no, that's there, but I can't use it. That's cool. Oh! How do I... How do you what? I want to invert him. The confirm lights up. Now I have to scroll down the entire buddy list in order to be able to get to the confirm button. I'll spare. We'll spare. Did you get that, um, Joker? I did get an invite. All I want to do is I want to create a party. At the beginning of the party, that's it. The, Unable to join. We're all in the... What? But you're this in... This is here. has joined your crossing away. Cannot join your game. Make them convoy leader to, make, to join yes. their game yeah. instead. Yeah, now make him the leader, yes. Okay, uh, fine. No problem. Invite friends, leave convoy. Convoy previously cancel. Right. No, click on him. Do that. Click on him, not manage convoy. Click on him. Oh, as in select. Manage convoy oh, is manage the convoy. Oh, okay. So I thought manage the convoy would contain that function. Yes, I would too, because that would be sensible. But, but that's not how Forza rolls. Hmm. Honestly, if, if the driving and the sheer scope of cars... Oh, my fuck. If the driving and the sheer scope of cars in this game wasn't so good, I wouldn't put up with the menus and the, all the, the crap around it. That's like GTA. Like, it's a total ball to achieve that. But when you do, it's amazing and it's just so much fun. Okay, I have to... So, was it left bumper you said? No. Left bumper? I don't think I have a left bumper. Oh. Okay, uh... Was I expecting an invite then? That's the other thing. Imagine doing all the... Convoy with you. Cool. We're well, all the leader. the leader. Good. Pick something new. 
Can you imagine doing all this, by the way, without us being on Discord? Organising it. Like, I seriously, seriously, seriously think Ralph needs to just go back to the fucking basics with this shit. It's so confusing. But, in a test environment, this is fine. You'll be like, okay, at 2 o'clock this afternoon, we're going to set up an 8-player race doing this, this, and this test it. Yep, that works. Cool. But no one's actually sat down and played it, or they sat down and played it way too close to release, and it's like, we, we can't change this. You know, it's a clusterfuck, but it ain't changing now. Where's this? Some of these crowd look like they're in some sort of epileptic fit. I think they're dancing. They're sort of twitching really badly. Huh? I think they're dancing. No, no, there's one leaning over, waving, like mad, and her twin is sort of having some sort of problem fit with her arms. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's not my fault you don't understand modern dancing. Yeah, interpreted dance. There are a lot of twins around here, that's all I can say. Well, that's because it's an Xbox game. Did you see what I posted earlier? The Xbox One X version of this game takes 61 seconds to load. And they're really proud wow. that the Series X takes 17 seconds. And I'm like, wait, how long does a base... Are you on your way somewhere, Shalka? I'm setting up the blueprints. I think the online adventure is designed so someone can, like, spend a bunch, you know, an hour setting up a cool series of events. And then when everyone comes online, you can do the series of events that you've planned. I think that's what their their goal is with that. Yeah, the the uh, the Forza equivalent of painting your army um, in advance. Jesus, I hope you're watching this. On... So we have a lot of people watching tonight. How how are you enjoying Watch Me Get? vaguely tenderized by this machine god off-road is just unbelievable though on roads it's, it's quite calm i seem to of course that i did use a motion platform before i used one of the um uh next level racing ones and it's weird because it looks when you're watching it, it genuinely looks like you are being absolutely pummeled. But when you're in VR doing it, you almost don't notice because it's the right movement. It's what you expect, so you don't notice it. I'm curious how it feels in, I say, Project Cars, which I'll probably give uh, Malcolm a bash of that in VR tomorrow. Ah, there's the... Uh... 24 seconds to join. Got it. We are in class A in dirt racing. Wait, dirt racing in a contash? There's something very wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is not where a contash should be. <laughs> Apparently the chat is just silently watching in horror at me being walloped back and forth by a machine. I'm just going to check. Yep, not even the, not even a hint of warmth in the motors or gear boxes. I mean, assuming that warning is to be sort of the, observed if you've got some sort of temperature monitoring on it or something. Now, well, I've got the home version and there's also a professional version. So the home version, do not they do not recommend, if you, buy, you should buy the professional version if you tend to play for more than four hours a, 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 on the trot. But of course, if I'm in California, it's a very different set of ambient temperatures to where I am now. Yeah. That was a very bad gear change, Adam. Oh, he's drifted. No, he kept it. See, this is a uh, a hard car. This is very harsh movement compared to the Impreza.
No. World's worst sim driver. What, 400? Actually, I do better at sim rating than anything because you don't tend to do quite such ridiculous movements. <laughs> No, no, I am not. Aegis, currently, this is at 6 out of 20. I, I'm literally clamping off most of it. And I, it is, it is, it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's very cool, but it feels like you're in a race car. It feels like I'm off-roading in a car. And I've done that, and it's cool fun, but it's not nice. Like, it's not, it's not like cruising down a motorway in a uh, in a Bentley or something it's a, it's a uh, a physical and and punishing experience so no I am not turning it up to 11 six is fine and this does is it scale it or does it just cut off the peaks I I don't know I think it might actually just cut off the peaks I think the telemetry is shoved out as much as eight and I've clamped it at six. So the game could send more um, uh, rough movements, but I can't, there is a scale, it's called boost. So I can add, I think I'm at 35% boost. So that's reduced to a third, but I can crank it up. I can also twiddle the smoothing, so I can actually make the whole thing uh, more jolty or smoother. No. First I have to slam just before the finish line. Oh, thank you, Compo. I'm glad you enjoy. I, I, I'm a, I'm a very passionate man. I have many, much passion, you know, for or against things. And everyone should have have strong opinions on things. They should love and hate things. For instance, um, I love sort of getting a Pringles. Um, incidentally, by the way, you know I've got the Driving Force Pro, which is the lowest force deep steering wheel these days. I've had it about crikey 15 years or so it doesn't have any mounting points so proper steering wheels have places to screw in so i've had to the steering wheel and the pedals are held on with velcro and a clamp because it's fine and it's a lot of velcro but i don't have any way of screwing it in so is there nothing you can sort of conjure up out of your printer i'd have to 3d print something and then glue it um, but no, I mean, what I've done is I've got the, I've got the, cl the, the desk clamps, um, but then I have put Velcro on the, the mounting plate and then I've put the clamps on. So it's, it's squidged on nice and tightly. No, it doesn't work in snow runner. There is no, this would be the perfect. Um, incidentally, by the way, I'm unlocking shit left, right and center all over the map. Every time we do something, more stuff unlocked. Yeah, me too. Oh, you have got stuff you can see. There's loads of stuff them up now, yeah. Go figure. Oh well. Down to Shalka. I would so I would zoom in to the chat a bit because it's quite small, but I have to undo my seatbelt in order to be. You can't, yeah. How do I zoom? Wait, am I in You know where there's normally a zoom button? For some reason there's a picture of a cog. Make it a bit bigger so I can see the text a bit more. Um, but yeah, this this Snow Runner on this motion platform would just be us, just wonderful. I mean, we could do a bit of it anyway. So uh, one S. It could it fit it so well that when it fails to live up to the game, you could notice it more. It, no, because you don't do that. So you tell the game, the, the steering system, here is an object, it is driving at this velocity at this angle. Done. It takes care of the rest. I have watched The Mandalorian. Um, I have not watched Star Trek. Mandalorian was, oh my goodness me. But check out, let's check it out. It's a Scout 800. But yeah, if this if this was in SnowRunner, I, I would be in a hog's heaven. So if I actually put the vehicle on a slope and park, 
You can see I'm I'm lent over. So that feet, I, you probably can't actually see it, but I'm definitely lent over now. I really am. I, I probably lent over about the yeah, it's about about right actually. Now, it is possible to introspect these variables out of the game. Um, and I'm hoping that they do that with because it would just be... S2. S2? Oh, my God. Yeah. Otley dash. The rare, actually fast one. Yeah, I'll say. I'm going to go with the BAC mono, then. Uh, I'm going to out so many times. Well, I yeah. So, have to take cautious. Um, so, uh, Malcolm, this is actually a mod. These um, I, I saw. It, so essentially, the seat belts are um, sprung. So when I brake, the seat moves forward, so the belts tighten. So I actually get squashed into the seat a little bit, just as you would in a real car. So that's cool. But yeah, wow, Mandalorian was was awesome. Um, every episode this season has just been superb. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, hello. Hello. Instead of typing in chat, I was yes. going to go to bed, but... <sighs> but, oh man, yeah. I, got the, I got the slowest car. How happy are you now, though? Um, this is really good. Um, I don't know if you've been, how long you've been watching, but it's it's not very oh, nice. five minutes. It's not very nice. It's not pleasant. I'm... St I'm, I'm it's not pleasant. St no, I mean, uh... not at all. I am really strapped in. I'm in a BAC mono. Um, it would not be a... Ple it'd be a, a Wait, awesome... If there was a house fire or someone came and robbed you right now. Well, I, I, I've got a quick release from the buckle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Duh. But yeah, I'm, I am really strapped in, but you'll see it in a sec. Like, see how much this car moves. When I brake, look at it go. It's not like the, uh, the Impreza, which is soft. This is a high-performance car. And brake. And I said, this is currently set to 6 out of 20. So yeah, so far very so very happy. Try, you're gonna try playing Project Cars 2 with that in VR. Yeah, fuck yeah, that was the point. Uh, okay, but uh, yeah, okay. How, how does it work with VR? Does, does pro sorry, Project Cars does Project Cars support it specifically? Yep. yep. Look, there's no um, sim game out there that doesn't. Okay. Cool. Apparently, all the Need for Speed games support it as well, including the best one, Need for Speed Most Wanted. I was like, oh, oh. But yeah, uh, God, it really is a shame that SnowRunner doesn't support it. Oh, that would just be cool. I know, because you spend you spend your evenings at a fancy angle, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, well, the thing the thing about the thing about SnowRunner, I actually real, I realised this. I haven't. It's such a relaxing game to play a lot okay. of the time. <laughs> yeah, and, and stressful. <laughs> and low, frustrating. Some, low speed bit, stress. Bit, low speed stress. Bit, though. You know, it was quite fun and relaxing in, in the same way. It, like, I have, uh, yeah, I've got, what the game I've played since then that's as relaxing as that. It's not really my genre of games, but I do kind of miss it. Yeah, I know, I like so when, when, when the new, uh, when the new expansion it. comes out, season or whatever it is, I will, I will get a hold of that. Yes, should do. The only problem is, I only have one steering wheel, and it's here. So if I want to play SnowRunner, I need to play in the motion platform, but not with the motion platform not active, or I need to pack everything up and take it over to my PC. I know, crossbow problems. Um, am I actually ahead, by the way? Because I've definitely got the slowest car here. Yeah. But it's, mine's, mine's, it's not so fast I have lost control. Slowest yeah, car, being, the AC slowest mono. car being acceleration, or is it also yeah. more agile than the other ones? Uh, it's easier it's, it's easier not to screw up. Yeah. So at the end of the race, because I, I finished so quickly, what will happen in a minute, it will teleport the car out, and sometimes it just shunts the whole rig around. I did see that yeah. before. Um, so, yes, Edge, yeah. So F1 2019 does support it. All the Codemasters games support it, but not all the Codemasters games support VR, which is a shame. Um, how the third DOF affect gameplay? So the third DOF is the most important one. Um so the third doff means the whole, as you can see my hands here, it means like the whole thing can pivot left and pivot right. So it's pivoted around the centre so it can it can twist you. So when you lose control in a drift, the whole system slides sideways. But essentially it's it's another platform this whole thing sits on 
with a pivot point. So it's modular. And then you can upgrade the whole thing to a sixth off. Um, when you, re you, at that point, it turns into like a little hexagon. And that gives you all three twists and all three motions. Now, not very far. You can only move forwards and backwards about 10 centimeters, but it will shove you forwards at 1G. So when you hit a wall, it can apply 1G of backwards force. Only for, you know, that far. But that's enough for you to go, Ugh. It can't apply sustain G. So what happens is it will shunt it forwards and then it will tilt it back. Uh, I think it does 20 degrees. So it then gives you 20, what's that, I guess? 20, an eighth, a quarter of a G, I guess? If you're 20, is that 20 degrees? So we'll make for this jolt as soon as you land in the car. Sorry? I'm going to see if, it, when, if you get in the car, if yeah. it jolts. There was a little one. I had it just throwing me around just crazily. Did you see it when I rolled the car? No. Well, have you seen me off-road yet? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Jesus. So, again, I'm going to remind this is at six. And I, I don't actually think... <laughs> It Bloody hell! That's, it that's a lot. I know, and I'm so I'm strapped in. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose the Impreza. I, I need something four wheel drive for this. Um, so I am super duper strapped in as well. So when the chair moves, I. So move. what's the highest you turned it? You've turned it up to six. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is fine. So um, yeah, but that's that's the highest. Would you not? I would, I would definitely turn it up slowly, but surely, I, I, and then I, just do the same thing. Just literally do the same thing. Go the exact like respawn. Go the same way. Respawn. Just see. Just see what it's like. I don't think you understand. That's like saying, "Hey, let me up. I'm going to punch you in the stomach, and I'm going to keep punching you in the stomach harder and harder and harder." And you're like, "No, no, it's fine. The first one's fine." See, if I just go flat out though, so it starts to really. I'm super pleased with it. I mean, I was worried yeah. that the thing is, I did I did do my research. They sell for pretty much the same amount. If I don't want it, I can flog it off, no problems. Yeah. Um, oh god, he's got air and he's about to land. <laughs> oh, that wasn't bad. Uh oh. What happens if you flip it? Um, it's quite well find. It's the chair gets stuck to the ceiling. Uh, no, I mean, can I, it, 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 I mean, I don't know how to flip the car on demand. I could get Andy to drive it, that would do it. No. Um, yeah, hang on, there's a slip road here. Missed the slip road. I'm trying to find something to roll it on. So all of this stuff you can just slam through. Though so that that's doing S one. Okay. It's a it's not clear which races give you option to customize it and which. Other people just drive straight through that. It's not really. <laughs> okay. So I'm sure I'm doing the barn find. I'll go with the. What, what's the other oh, Lamborghini send ten a year ago? Oh, I like open wheelers though. It's not open, this, is it? This is a yeah open. Oh, um, you do like open wheelers, okay? I, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, not open wheel. I meant I like open cockpit ones. This is a uh, bike engine car though. Oh my god, I'm in third gear and I'm wheel spinning it. I need to put my foot down so much. There we go. Come on, if I go fast enough, I should be able to roll it on something. Yeah, I don't want to turn this up anymore. I'm fine with this. I really am. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently, so there are multiple uh, schools of thought on the VR as well. So if you've got a Vive or an Oculus, they reckon you should attach one of the cameras to it. So as it moves, you move. And other people saying it doesn't matter. Like it, the chair doesn't move very far, and it does move very fast. So you don't realise that it's moving. So apparently, apparently it's just fine in VR. But I would like to, I would definitely like to try it. Oops. But, um... Max, you coming? No, no, thank you. No, he's doing a barn event. But, um, I need to uh, work out if I need to change anything first. 
because I, I have I've got extra bits I can attach. I, like there's a whole bunch of spare bits left over. Don't laugh. Um, so I've got like a hotas mount and I've got a uh, a gear shift mount and a handbrake mount and a uh, all sorts of bits and bobs. But yeah, I do know the guy who does the force feedback for this, so I'm going to message him going. When I hit a menu, it, if you're at a fancy angle, it just slams you into straight and then slams you back to the angle. I'm like, please don't do that. Please gently move me to straight. <laughs> Wait, I thought you forced this to an S1, Shalka. I picked S1. Okay. I didn't force. Ah. Because I, I, don't, I can't tell what that fellow was. Oh, no, I didn't. That was something else. Well, you're probably going to win because this one is more than a little bit twitchy. Oh, it's a left. And I definitely, definitely, definitely feel this makes it harder, not easier. In the same way that, you know, a pad is easier than steering wheel. Well, is that... Yeah, but is that because... I'm desperately fighting physics as well as the steering? Yeah, but your, your chair moves and the steering wheel doesn't. No, no, it's full fixed. Everything moves. Pedals, steering wheel. There is, there is one oh, model so waiting. Oh, so it moves with you. Okay, yeah. so the steering yeah. wheel moves with you as you move the chair. Yep. They do a model. Oh, I didn't that. They do a model beneath this called the M2, and in that one you move, but the seat and pedals don't. But they don't recommend it. They like for about eighty quid more, you can get the full movement oh, yeah. one. Oh my god, this thing is incredibly fast. I missed the checkpoint, and you didn't pass. This thing is extremely fast and very easy to screw up in a oh god off road in a very spectacular fashion. So I've also got the uh, vibration for the steering wheel, and I've also got the subwoofer as well. So that it was sensible to uh, take a S1 to that previous race because on an S2 I wiped out a lot too. Yes. Oh, found it. S2 is, you aren't really good enough to drive this. The thing is, I can't... What the fuck is this? I can't buy much more tech. There's not much more gear I could throw at this game. Doesn't support VR. I guess I could get a high frame rate screen, but that's about it. But I'm only managing 56 frames a second, apparently. Is that Ford GT40 Ford by any chance? GT40, yeah. Mark 1. I got that one earlier. I think that's about a week to unlock. Oh, bollocks. I did exactly the same thing as Shalka. So I went to unlock it. It goes, you can unlock it now for 8 million. I'm like, no, I'm good. So I tried an hour later. Oh, you can yeah. unlock it now for 5.5 million. I'm like, oh, I'm good. This is credits, credits. Yes. I better think to spend Cred credits on credit. Like buying uh, credit. Edinburgh Castle. Yeah. Yeah, that one's just a bit, a bit bonkers. It's only three seconds behind well, there. I've been using the uh, Xbox, the new Xbox controller on Bluetooth, uh, with the new adapter, and um, funnily enough, the new adapter's nice and cool. Oh, it hasn't caught fire. Hasn't caught fire. Excellent. Um, like the old one. <laughs> um, so, AG, I, I, one of my first purchases today off Amazon has been some seatbelt covers. So I've got. So I'll have soft seatbelt covers here, um, definitely. I suspect I'm going to ache a bit, but the pain is weakness leaving the body. Eventually it won't hurt anymore or I'll be dead. Hmm. I also want to rearrange stuff a bit. This, this, this telly is now a little bit high, so I've had to sit the telly on a box and I've covered the box up with a towel so I don't look terrible. Um, but I need to rearrange things. This was just sort of getting it working. Now I need to work out where the different bits will go and try and tidy it all up. There's actually plenty of room underneath it. Um, everything is, it doesn't go downwards, so I can actually hide a whole bunch of stuff underneath it. I can tell when my car spawns because my so chair goes. A TV company a documentary called British Racing Green. <sighs> Sorry, they're talking. If you're keeping the, the webcam where it is. The subwoofer between my legs. I figured you'd make the perfect co-star. What do you think? I think shut up, Joel. Okay, the guy stopped talking. 
Oh, another thud. Um, Malcolm, was um yes was was the Mandalorian or Star Trek better? Um, it's difficult to say. Oh wow, that good, huh? I I, I like both of them for completely different reasons. Like that's the thing. The again, no spoilers. The CGI at the point when Mando was landing his ship was just superb. I, I have a funny feeling. Oh that, yeah, I did actually notice that. Actually, I did think that. Go, wow, that's really cool. I think like, all, I was amazed at that. Yeah. Well, I think all of the, the the studios that are normally doing Marvel films haven't got anything on at the minute, so they're all doing the oh, Mandalorian and stuff. Yeah. Well, I, no, I, I did. I did actually notice that. And I did think, oh wow, that looks really cool. It, I wonder how the hell they did that. But that spikes it as far as my brain it's went. It's been really good all the way through all of the. Uh, oh yeah. Thing. Um, Max Schalke, you might have to invite Max. Oh wait, hold on. I can roll my vehicle here. I'm trying to get this green. Green. Oh. oh my god! There you go. Oh, really hard I'm waiting. Oh, freaking hell. I found a castle, though. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> oh, wow. You've got a super precise to smash it's that, haven't like, you? Yeah, it just oh. tries, to, tries to put him to sleep, Rock. Goodbye, baby. You just fucking well, it going feel, mental. It feels like it's going to tip. I, I don't think it actually will. I don't actually think it can. Like, I, I really. 10 out of 10. No. 10 out of 20. No. <laughs> I will invite you, Max. Confirm. Oh. Yeah. A bit like in reality, though, crashing a car is not like, yeah, that was cool. Let's do it again. Um, I do want to install Microsoft Flight Simulator, though. Because that's got support for it. And War Thunder. Uh, no. Yes, got it. Cool. Did you get my invite? No. You probably did. I got one, then said, oh, you've done six. I'm like, what? Put your mind up. Okay, but actually, hold on, I'll join your game. Okay. Stop, bloody hell, stop. There you go. Uh, sorry, wait, Henry, Henry, you said 30. Why did you say 30? Uh, yeah, Max, just, just go to anything marked new on your map. Assuming that the only option isn't the Forza Horizon thing. Yeah, um, I was sorry. I was just rethinking about it again because I was watching um, Mandalorian recently. So I, I saw didn't see Star Trek, not saw Star Trek yesterday, obviously. But yeah, it's a it's a really good episode. The thing that Star Trek gives you, which I don't think Mandalorian does, is a lot more storyline continuation of the story. Whereas Mandalorian is kind of well, I, don't uh, really, I just had kind of seems to be bumbling through space at the moment. When he met Katie Sacco and she's like, "You must help me." I'm like, "Side quest." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Max, did you invite me into something? Um, I'm trying to do group routes. No, no, don't, just go to an event. Fuck, fuck group. Just that, that just be race there. Just go to, drive to the nearest thing with the road you written on it, and just do it. And tell me what car you're in. Um, well, I'm trying to. Yeah, she was. She was pretty cool. She's pretty awesome. I kind of hope we see her again. Yes. Well, we will. We will. To... The name okay. of the episode refers to her. In case you didn't get okay. that. I do. I never look at the name of episodes. Well, they, in this case, the names of episodes are actually little uh, interesting clues. Oh, okay. Oh, fast travel board. Yeah. Um, yeah. This, the, the, as I said, the Star Trek episode. I, I think actually the Star Trek episode was better. But that's wow. a, that's more, it, what. What about, about Stargate? Jetting, what do you think? Um, was there um, an, was there an episode of Stargate this week, Pump Lover? I don't think there was. Oh, I have to get this out of this fence. Stargate. I have to say Star Trek, didn't I? Yes. You did, no. yes. So I said, what about okay. Stargate? There wasn't an episode of Stargate this, this month, this week. Oh. YouTube comments are talking about ah. Stargate. I haven't played Better Call... I have, I've seen season one of Better Call Saul and it was excellent. And I haven't seen the new ones. I have heard tale 
that now Better Cold Saul is so good that Breaking Bad is merely what you watch to get a primer in order to watch Better Cold Saul. But I, I haven't seen anything past season one, but I have heard it's extremely good. I watched I watched season one, kind of bumbled through it, going uh, something to watch while I was you know doing other things. Went, uh, it's all right. And I watched season two and thought it was worse, or at least half of season two and thought it was worse, and it stopped. Yeah, apparently it gets really, really good, but this is only what I... Uh... When? Okay, I mean, I, as I, I said, it, it, it seemed to go downhill in season two, so I was like, oh, okay, well, it wasn't great the first season, so I'm just gone. I'm just collecting boards. There we go. Okay. Press eight to join. Oh, there's one go. literally just in front of me as well. Okay, what, what, what are you in? I'm in a... Um, big thing. I don't know. Well, you need to tell me, or I'm going to end up in completely the wrong class. It's a four by. I don't know. I don't. You're in a four by four. The wrong class as well. Right. Okay. I've chosen a vehicle. Doesn't mean it, right. it's the right vehicle for the four race four. I've chosen. So, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on stream. Waiting for players three out of six. Hmm? Okay. Just it will start anyway. Um, I'm now in a big off-road vehicle, right? Yeah. Now, please tell me it's got ridiculous wobbly suspension. Yeah, the force of it, it's a completely different feel. Yeah, that's cool. So instead of being harsh, it sort of just gently rocks you left and right. That's really cool. It, it, I can really genuinely tell the difference. I like when I hit these, it's just a, it's a smaller thump because the car's heavier. Like, oh, wow, you know, it's that level of surprising fidelity. Given that, as I said, I the, the only motion... I've used two motion platforms this is the three or this one. One that was 9,500 and one that was 17,000. This one was 800 by comparison. So... Go. Oh, my Oops. God. <laughs> it slammed on the brakes so I could join your, your mission. It usually misses some sort of point and then goes backwards. And then the thud is it, it spawned my car at that point, so then the, the platform aligns itself to the car that we can't see. And then another thud is it's now you aligned to the You'd never get that fire extinguisher if you needed it in a hurry, would you? Where's, your fire, where's the fire extinguisher? Strapped to the back of the vehicle. Well, no, this is true. Oh, well, we've got a random. Hey. In a not very off road car, I notice. <laughs> yeah. Ah, this is a street race, Max. I see, know. See, it's a street. Well, I don't know now. Obviously, but this is not what I asked for. Fifteen. Where um, people come from? I. You've chosen a random. Thing. One guy's in an X. Yeah, whatever. Eh, who cares? Let's just have fun. Um, yeah. So Henry, yeah. Given the lead time, I might order it on Monday. Oh, it's the driver to us. And I'm. Oh, they might be my truck. Yes, I think I might order it on Monday, and I might get the dampers as well. Because this took genuinely like six weeks to come through a huge amount of issues with uh, TNT and all that. Now I reckon they're huge. Oh, Mickey the shoe. Could be anything. Yeah, look at the guy in his fucking guy in his X class car. Twat. Oh, I got the best car and I'm winning. That's how he sounds, probably. I'm Tammy. But we've got checkpoints here, though, so we just like shortcut. Yeah. Drive up um, checkpoints. Yep, yeah, you can do it. It's normally quicker not to, though. Um, right. Henry, it's worth looking up the third, the three DOF, the H3, the three DOF upgrade, because um, that, it's got the same amount of oh, shit, force that this has got, only it's twisting you rather than rocking you. Oh, yes, you're right, Max, they are driver tires. It says D. All it, apart from one of them, Ooh. yeah, Snatcher, MGTV Snatcher 88, and the other hand is human. There's a gig update for uh, Grounded, by the way. Uh, yes, that's the Koi oh, Pond fish. update. Is that it? Well, it, I had it. Hmm. I, I mentioned this day, things I don't like in games. Deep water, it makes me go a bit squidgy. Um, squidgy? Yeah, like, uh, I don't know. Deep, deep. There's a specific phobia of rough, deep water. Though. Yeah, I, have you noticed that? How much time did I spend in the water in Raft? None. And there's a No, you had no, a I did, bit, no, much. I did not. I've maybe spent two or three minutes total in our 30 hours of Raft play on the, in the water. I hate it. I just can't do it. it. Makes me feel very weird. Anyway, 
things I don't like. Deep water. Two. Breathing mechanics. Like, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, great. Do you have to kill all, kill all mechanics? No, but like, you'll have to... Um, no, no, breathing. Like, what, you'll about, what about you'll Astroneer, have to... though? Breathing mechanics, then? Um, it's fairly minimal. It's, it's slightly annoying. But, I mean, um, I don't think you understand. In fucking grounded, I can't manage my warmth and my oxygen and... Sorry, my thirst and my hunger as it is. They're adding me a full fucking bar. Mm. But yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. Have you fixed the stability issues and the, the basic balance and the confusingness? And we need to get some uh, web in order to get a dew collector. And then the spider came along and it smashed it all. We didn't get the resources back. And oh, fuck this stupid game. Yeah, I didn't have that problem. The problem I have is not being able to actually play the game. Own issue list. Look at this. Oh, I'm beating Max Realism. Mickey Not the sh Mickey the shoe is close behind me. I, I think you're fine, Max. I have specifically called this title to stream. I am the world's worst Forza the four player. Don't show me up like this. You're making me a liar. <laughs> Thalassophobia. Thank you. Thalassophobia. What? Um, Phobia of penis. Phalluses. Yeah. Phallus. Phallusophobia. It's the opposite of what your mum's got. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Henry, so Grid, I think, has got support for this. Um, but that's where the sixth off one would work better, because the sixth off one would, as you took off, would lift you in the air and then drop you. So it'd give you a feeling of weightlessness, and then it'd slam you into the ground. Alright, I've unlocked money. Man, I've got so much money and I have no intention on spending it on anything. This is a stupid question. I'm just going to write this out. I'm looking at the grounded list, uh, the, the grounded um, website, and it says a load of known issues. There is a known issue with Radeon R series graphic uh, graphics cards and Game Pass PC crashing with a related DirectX 12 error. That sounds quite right. old. What's the R graphics R290s, card? R290s, R280s. Oh, R390s? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's no problems. Waiting for Max Realism to start matchmaking for your convoy. Yeah. Attempting to build thing. craft recycling, the game will cause the game to crash. <laughs> no no work around at this time. What, sorry, what? Doing what will make it crash? Attempting to build craft recycle in the game will cause the game to crash, apparently. Even though it doesn't. I mean, obviously we've crafted stuff before. Well, I think I think it means so may cause the game to crash. Yeah, may, yeah. No known workaround. Don't lose your <laughs> fucking koi pond update, then you useless incompetent twats. Yeah. yeah literally, there is a known workaround. You know, no known issue with the R Radeon R series. Dot 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 dot. And then it says, unfortunately, we do not have a resolution with this. Um, well, it's okay, so grounded what's, crashes what's when loading point? into a game session. Players on the Steam. We're you currently have, looking into this issue. The, you have the, to look into how much effort versus reward hold on, hold on. give you. The R three ninety X is not an old cod. Wasn't that just like two generations back or one? It's about eight years old, my guess. It, okay, I, I I can't Google at the minute, so I'm not sure. I had a 280. The feedback system is currently uh, is sometimes causing games to freeze or crash. No known workaround at this time. Wow. Seriously, they get those experiences you joining. Workaround. That means they, they can't give you a busy vehicle. Work workaround. They, don't click on this option. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have to do workarounds on a regular basis. But, oh, yeah, fix it. It's a lot nicer driving off road in an off road vehicle, which I know sounds Funny obvious. Funny that. Yeah, but it actually is nicer. Oh, than driving on road, you mean? No, than driving off road in like a Ferrari. I mean, as I said again, yeah, really? Well, yes, I but mean that. this is this is it's it's surprising that it's actually working like that. I know it should if, work. If like you, you were to tell me, if you were to tell me, it's more comfortable driving an off road or off road than it is on road, then I'd be surprised. In a computer game. Everything else you said to say, well, yeah. No. <sighs> But it's the fact I'm in a game and it's it's actually it's appreciably different. Oh, how does this get? There's, oh, oh, there's a ramp here. Oh, 
I did think about getting track IR, then I realised that track IR would really not cope very well with this, would it? Oh, what? Ow! Yeah, Max, it's just whatever, whatever you see first. I'm trying to get to it. I'm surprised how many of my friends have played this game a lot, by the way. It keeps on popping up various friends' progression and stuff. It shows you, like, who is just ahead of you and something. I look forward to the lockdown being... Uh, wait, it's on top of that? Oh, God. I would look forward to my lock the lockdown being lifted, by the way, because uh, I'm sure my niece and nephew cannot wait to have a go on this. <laughs> and their dad. <laughs> but yeah, I, I suspect Microsoft Flight Simulator is probably a... Because uh, they were playing it loads last time. Like, they just like landing planes. Which, to be honest, is about all you can actually do in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so... Uh... Oh, I jumped over. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, ah. And which one was handbrake, was it? They're, too trying to be, they're trying to be sneaky with some of these, you know. Oh, yeah, but don't worry about oh, the board. Oh, before I tell you, it's on the back of the vehicle. Huh? It's on this 4x4 off road thing. It's spare tyres and a blooming jack. I'm playing SnowRunner again. What? No. Are you putting us into, Honda into an thing. event? <laughs> the Honda Ridgeline Baja or Baja Baja trophy truck. Baja. Uh -huh. That one, yeah. With the J. So. Yeah, but it's, but, yeah, but it's so. it's not a British word. It's a Spanish word. Baja. Right, whatever. The point is he's got spare tyres and a jack. And two fight signatures, both of which you can't actually get hold of. In yeah, an that, yeah, but it's not for emergencies. It's for wait, well, you know, but yeah, that's for. Um, do you not know about the Baja buggies and things? They're like, like they're like the Paris Dakar type vehicles. Uh. Oh, interesting. It's it's Paris if you go and visit, but it's never Paris Dakar. It's always Paris Dakar. Uh. Oh dear, there's a there's a there's a uh, Paris over here trying to do the funky chicken. I knocked it over and now it's just... I don't know what to do with myself. I'm going to just going to dance here, half in, half out of the building. Half in, half out of the floor. Where are we going uh, now? Yeah, let me pick a thing I just found on those boards. Just literally. Um, I, I, I'm only bothering with the, the lightning bolt ones. Oh, here we go. Dirt racing. Oh, it says co exhibition completed. Okay, so we don't do that one then. Oh, we can do, but it just repeats Speaking. it. Uh, oh, there's a new one. What's that? The drag run. Quick fire PvP base is available. Sure. Okay, drag strip. Uh, how do we get there? Um, okay, feel, feel free to do a group race and I will just head there. Okay. Um, well, I've done a. Oh, I haven't. Hold on. It doesn't matter hold if you on. don't. I, I'm not that far. No, no, no. I just need to change so you can see where I want to go, which is there. Does that turn up for you? Yep. How many kilometers away? Lots. <laughs> Eight. Oh, right. It's alright. a power cable. Oof. The other funny thing is when I go into a menu, it just stops. Like, it, it, it solidly just goes flat. And you come out, it all starts to simulate again. But, like, it's so peaceful and quiet when you're in the menus. Yeah, it might be that tomorrow I'm just in so much pain I don't touch this thing again for a week. And then I go, three out of twenty. <laughs> I did, I did say your neck looks like it's getting thrown around a bit. A bit. Um, yeah, it's it's not. I mean, it's my I, I'm moving as a uh, a solid entity quite a lot. I don't think it's enough, so I need a hands while I am uh, playing the game. I mean, I start up, I put on my Virgin protecting gloves, I put on my neck brace, put on my racing shoes. Cod piece. I don't think I need a cod piece. No, Which like condom. Like. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you never know. No, um, like proper sim racers, they will wear gloves because the steering wheels they use. So this steering wheel is about four foot pounds of torque. The high end sim and a real car, sorry, like a real car with power steering is 10 to 12 foot pounds of torque. You know, something like that. 
A race car, on the other hand, is 40 foot-pounds of torque. So the high-end steering wheels output the same amount of force that a real race car with a short throw wrap and no power steering does. So you can practice wow. driving a real race car. Yeah, two drawbacks. I don't know if you can see it. There's a bit of flex in the steering stand. So you, there's an extra, optional extra for this particular setup to stop the steering wheel tearing the st this motion rig to bits. And if you don't wear gloves, it will strip the skin off your hands because it's wow. that powerful. Yeah, it, it's, it's designed for people who are properly practicing racing off peak. Um, I'm not quite that far yet. And wearing racing shoes while you're doing it, again, I think I've gone barefoot, but only because you can't see it. If you can see my feet, I would wear socks, as I said. The only way you're going to get to see my uh, middle-aged man feet is if you pay an extra $50 as a uh, donation. I'm now 1.3 kilometers away, but I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just following the lines. This vehicle's okay. quite good, by. It's nice and forgiving. And a bit soft. So I want to play Snow Runner with the motion platform with the new suspension I unlocked that's configurable. So I can set it to be so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've, got, you've got the configurable suspension? Yeah. So when you say configurable... You can make it so to change the ride height and stuff. On the fly? Yes, but only on some vehicles. On the fly though? Yes. That's really cool. I did not know that was even a thing. I thought you... I, I, yeah. yeah, I think we added it quite recently. It's only in certain vehicles and things. That's cool. Wait, how did you get that then? You found it, I presume. Just found it, yeah. So when driving over roads, you can set it to low, then you go off road, you can set it to high. That seems to be the the, the perfect thing, yeah. Well, drive over Max's car. Come on. Well, I don't. <laughs> well, I assume we're going to be in the same car. Like we don't we don't just line I, up. I have no idea. Well, I assume you have to take us into the event. I, I presume so. Well, actually, it says I, I action. Yeah, that's to interact with me, not the race. Just challenged a driver. To Try accept. Head Easy, head. okay. Go um, So you're in an S Class 977. Seven. Yeah. Wait, no, this is just taking us somewhere random. Finding a dog session. Okay, now drag session. Okay. Yeah, the, the drag session. for that one, I swear. The drag run session created to press. Drag run session created. I hope I get to pit my car. You're welcome, Flubberg Acid. I've seen some people, they, they show their feet on camera, and I'm like, I, you don't want to, you don't see my feet at the best of times, but. Okay. I'm curious to see how this, uh, this goes. Which are the players? Are you? <laughs> S1. I'm curious to see how much. I mean, I can actually like tweak the amount of uh, um, gear force movement, so I can make it a lot more. Like in a real car, you get almost no gear uh, gear change power. Usually, you run out of power before you change gear, and you change gear to a modern car lane, you know, like that. Oh, uh, it has to be an S1. All right, what's my highest S1? All right, my Impreza apparently. Uh, it was, I think in total, was that for a In total, I'm not sure, um, but it was 800 quid, I think. I think it was $1,100 um, plus shipping, plus import taxes, something like that. Um, but so far, it's just been absolutely amazing. Like, just so, so good. And I don't know whether or not I will continue to think that. But so far, it's been absolutely awesome. Um, quite a lot of games have support for it. I've also got a, a, a base transducer under my seat as well. I've got a cheap force feedback steering wheel. But uh, uh, And the idea is to do it in VR. I said, I, I haven't done any race. I haven't done any races at all this year. I haven't been on track once this year. I'm not going to get on track for at least another six months. Um, I thought... Given the pandemic, the fact we're, we're locked down, it doesn't look like it's going away. Uh, I thought we'd give it a... Might as well. Have you seen... If you, I don't know if you've seen me drive off-road off in this, by the way. It's um, 
it's a great big pile of, ex of interesting this is a terrible event to choose max <laughs> is it going to make us do it again yep there was more loading than driving there yes I'm like okay, standing through some old guy right I'm still loading like what? Just get on with it. Play fast and win! Okay, yeah. But there's no point, like the guy in the the, the higher vehicle's gonna win. My traction tool's like a meh, 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 meh. Like, come on faster! And I'm gonna come second again, and I will always come second and he will always come first. What is the point doing three? We can always quit out. Um well, we I'm trying to make it just us. We might. We, we might. Uh, because it's all right, but we might. As well just I didn't do invite anybody else in. We might. Well, up to everyone. We might as well just do the third one because we'll get some rewards for it. Okay. Can't get whiplash, by the way. Wrong. Wrong motion. Whiplash is when you your neck slams backwards because you're moving forwards. So remember, I'm not moving. I'm I'm orbiting. So I, I'm only moving. A, you know, quite a small amount. Um. I said, I, I, th I think I will do the three DOF upgrade. I will see how I feel about the six DOF upgrade. Essentially, it depends whether or not I go, this is great fun, eh, can't be bothered anymore, or whether I'm like, I only want to play games like this. So tomorrow I would like to try doing some project cars with, with Malcolm, or without him, I don't care, um, in VR, and see how that feels. That'd be interesting, because this game is very intense, lots and lots of crashing and slamming around, whereas project cars, there really isn't. Shouldn't be. Well, unless I screw it up. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't. <laughs> I spammed the car and didn't, didn't get drawn on the finish line screen. Oh, that's alright. Yeah, what went through the designers' heads when they went, let's have an eight-second drag race? How much loading time? About a minute and a half? Oh, all right, that sounds great. It was bumping... Yeah, well, I, I so as I said, Flabbergasted, currently it's at six out of a maximum of 20. And I can scale it up. I'm just not going to. One of the things I want to do tomorrow, there are some roller coasters with support for it, which I'm very curious about. On which? Which uh, thing? Uh, I think it's called Epic Coasters. There's like some super high end. Uh, no, not I again. I realised I don't actually have a roller coaster thing. I don't think on the PC. I've got one. I've got one on the rip, uh, the Quest Two. I honestly just recommend looking for the reviews because essentially they just went. This is essentially a nausea simulator. Yeah. But there's one, and it lets you design like high end roller coasters and just, and share them with people. So imagine roller coaster tycoon. Only without any gameplay. You just make roller coasters and ride them around. Without the queues, though. With I guess there is without queues. But say, if you've got VR and a motion platform, that's awesome. Otherwise, what the fuck is the point in that? <laughs> but it's 35 Pancake quid. Mode. So I'm not quite interested in downloading it. I'm, I might possibly pirate it and give it a look. But I'm not going to. I'm not spending 35 quid and go. Oh, no, fuck that. Which one is it? Um, no, it's not low limits, is it? If you go, if you go to doffreality.com slash games, it lists all the game they support. Max, this is not selecting a level. No, it's much more fun. Uh, I don't know about I don't know if Planet Coaster. No limits got roller coaster two Steam version or an epic roller coaster Steam version. Yeah. Does Planet Coaster have support for it? Oh, Max Rosman could not accept my challenge. I didn't press the button. That's not the same as true. No limits is 28 quid. Yeah. There are some free coasters out, but it's the motion... I mean, Epic Roller Coasters one is, um, is free. Head to head cancelled. Why? It's huh? Only now. No, I've got it. Position one out of two. Something. What's it uh -huh. in the top right? Nothing in my top right. I'll follow you now. If you see a level we haven't done, just take us into it on the way. Anything that says new on the map. Turn 
shock hat. That's why I kept up me on the road. <laughs> mm, he's hat trick. We'll try and avoid the thick ones, that's the uh, <laughs> Good advice for life. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> <laughs> the Euro Truck Simulator has two of the three things I need. Two, Euro Truck Simulator has VR support, it has motion platform support, and no multiplayer. And I own it. Well, I might give it a bash anyway. Did you get in a good jolt? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sharp is right. He's, we finally invented a way to punch someone virtually over the internet. Oh, yeah. Ultimate ultimate coaster X, Adam. I think that's the one you want. Now, free roller coaster simulator built with uh, the world editors. I used to create and experience rides of many types. Yes. There's one that's um, free with tons of DLC. Another one that's paid for, but, and, but yeah. you could design and share coasters in it. Oh, okay. Well, this this one here, there's, there's Ultimate Coaster X, which is free, but you, and you can make your own roller coasters. There's Epic Roller Coaster, I think it is, which is free. It has loads of, like, 30 quid of DASC. And then there's also No Limits 2 Roller Coaster, which is 30 quid. It does look really good. The thing about Euro Truck Simulator is I can't imagine the simulator chair is going to do very much. Because you're driving a truck around. There aren't, there aren't much in the way of GPS. All you need, all you need is, like, springs on the bottom of your chair for Euro Truck Simulator, right? <laughs> But yeah, Euro Truck Simulator is awesome. I, it's a really fantastic game. Um, my only complaint is you can't do what I want to do, which is like run a whole trucking empire in multiplayer. It's just there's a mod for MP, but it's, it's a bit. Mostly, we're just all in the same world doing our own completely unrelated thing. Where are we going, Max? You're the leader. Don't use Manage Convoy to promote people. Oh, I'm now... Okay. Uh, right. Well, let's do this taxi one, then. It's just in front of us. Wait, so... Y you can make me the leader, but Shalka couldn't. No, no, it's not under... It's under a menu you're not, actually you're not expecting to be under. You click on them, don't you? So when you go into the menu... Yeah. You manage... Horizon, sorry, Horizon Convoy. Yeah. You then have the choice of select back and manage convoy. Yeah. So, okay, fine. You go manage convoy. That's the wrong thing to do. You pick the person who wants to be yes. the leader, and then you go select, and then you get the choice. Oh, so you have to click on. The, so, so you've got two interactions with a person available yes. to you, and one interaction with the whole thing. Well, that's a big yes. pile of ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. It's, um, yeah, that should be simplified. So it's just one menu. Just manage the convoy. I, mean, I don't understand manage convoy is kicking people and stuff like that. But one of the things in there should be. I can promote this person to do this thing, you know, because that option is not on that menu, it's on a different menu. I'm like, who jammed this in by, like, you know, such janky uh, methods? They've probably just been adding to it, which is why it's janky. Uh, Surely you'd, you'd write it so it's logical. Yeah, sometimes it, you've, they've written it so it's easy. I mean, that's, that's one of the things that pisses me off, like, on Wait phones you, by the and way. various other things that I work with. It's like, so there's an option you want. Unfortunately, it's not alphabetical. It's right near the bottom, and it begins with the letter A. You know, it's like, why is it not alphabetical? Are you accepting, or are you loading, or something? Oh, sorry. Uh, X more information. There we go. Um, why do you have no limits, coasters, flabbergasted? Is it for well, VR? Despite the business bringing in far more passengers than we can handle, our friend Joel Carter thinks we need to do a little advertising. He's organised it for so, us. So. This is the three doff, the two doff. The two doff could be upgraded to the three doff. The three doff could be upgraded to the six doff. So you can buy it in sections. He won't tell me exactly what it involves, but he insists on you as a driver. Two hundred meters. He insists on both of us as a driver, does he? Two people. Shortcut. Yep. I'm always going to in a tree. I'm like, I want to avoid the trees. <laughs> Put sword blades in the front of your 
hot. Yeah. But yeah, um, Flabbergasted, so this is the cheapest one, but if, if this was something I had to buy and go, I really like this, and then throw it away when I outgrown it, I wouldn't have got it. The fact it can be upgraded is important to me. And also, um, it sells for pretty much oh, the same amount of money as... Um, uh, I, I, could, I could flog it on, on eBay or Gumtree or whatever. I don't think it would, though. I think people would bite your hand off to have it. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, if I'm buying something and it's expensive and it might not be any good and there's no resale value, that makes me a bit worried. But when there's good resale mm. value, like my VR headsets, like if I want to flog the Oculus, I can flog the the the, uh, the, uh, the Quest. I can flog the Quest tomorrow for just, you know, I, I might lose 20 or 30 quid. So I'm not going to lose all those money. But if I buy a car, try and flog it, I will lose it. Or is it going to put us in the special taxi now? Because yes, we are. Oh wow! Uh, look at the back tires on that. <laughs> a bit mad, don't they? Oh yeah. Oh god, we're not looking at the drag. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Talk about talks there. You didn't get slammed backwards as you hit the accelerator. There you go, there's the menu system going mad. I got two stars for that one, haven't I? I only got two stars as well. Did we also at the beginning there the attraction stars? Bloody hell, I just saw that. You got thrown around. So this one's about a G. Yeah, it's about a G. I said real dragsters, they, they'll, they'll accelerate at, you know, three or four Gs. My motorbike will accelerate at a G, and that's the fastest thing you can get. Um, not all the way, it's only a G, it's the not a G all the way to 100. I don't care, Rebecca, no shut up. Each round, you'll be eliminated. On that note, you're through to round two. I don't care, shut up. No offence, Rebecca, but you just keep talking to me they all keep talking to me into the next there you go so this thing it's spawning me back so i can now just select the next one there you go next chapter for my convoy these are all basically missions where we have to drive a different version of that taxi like a, an off-road one or a drag one or a super duper fast one but it pans out so you don't know what it is show me the tires it's very low all of a sudden <laughs> right. I'm, uh, I'm gonna disappear, I think. So I'll see, you see you tomorrow. No. Oh my god, that's. Feel free? Yep. Oh. I should have not taken the shortcut. And say, so, um, bear in mind, you have to park the car, not slam it through the uh, destination. Yeah, right. it's a taxi. Also, I think people this size wouldn't be having these sort of aerodynamics. What? Faster! Faster! No, you can't. Faster! No! Well, maybe there's a wing on the back. Oh. I haven't checked. It makes a lot of difference. It does. Diffuser, aero, under uh, under train makes a, a terrifying difference. I'm already doing 130. It's not that fast. My stomach's aching. Like I, I'm tensing my muscles to hold myself. I've already organized a breakdown service to come and collect. Ugh, which reminds me, the photocopy is broken, which means I have to print the invoices myself. What? Which means I need to. Stop talking. This isn't funny. Anyway, that's not for you to worry about. There's the passenger. Off you go. How would she see? She, uh, dash cam. Yeah, there's a little. There's a little spoiler. Thanks very much. But So one of us has to get there in one minute five seconds for three stars. Wow. Ah. We're getting very 
moving fast! Taking a shortcut. No, I'm regretting the shortcut. <laughs> I immediately regret this decision. <laughs> Ugh, oh, they have way too much power. Fantastic. I might keep Aisha's taxis on the speed dial and just get rid of the car. I like these missions. They're nice and short and the cars are so the other one, the world's fastest, they're even more insane because they're all like Kona's eggs and Ferrari FXXs and stuff. These are all a British taxi that's been souped up. Obviously the Austin Motor Company's gone belly up many years ago. Um, yeah, so this, this game does support wind blowing. Um, so the game, the, 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 the system does. But... Like, um, it's worth watching Barry, Barry Rowland's Sim Racing Garage because he actually measured them. And it's like the most expensive one blows air at six miles an hour at your face. But the, the description is feel the wind as if you are driving a real supercar. It's like, well, firstly, I've got a windscreen. And secondly, six miles an hour is not what it feels like. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so oh. it supports, it supports uh, fans. It supports lights as well. So you can have... Um, like like lights in front of you that actually change when the pit lights start and stuff. It's quite cool. That's enough for me one night, thank you. All right then. I will do the, the taxi that you know. But yeah, it's it's quite it can control quite a lot of stuff. Um, so I've got uh, wind, shake, tachometers, LED in motion. Though I'm I'm primarily going to be doing VR. Um, but it also supports flight sim, so I've got the mounts for the HOTAS. I don't think my my current HOTAS, the throttle. Oh, I'm actually, listen, that's the convoy ball. I still want to do it. So um, I'm not sure I can actually use my current ones. I might actually have to get the separated throttle. Um, and I've got a, a central mount for my stick. Oh, yes. Hello, your bag. What did you make of that last fare? Excellent, wonderful. Don't tell me there's no time. I have another passenger waiting for you. location is set. It's a bit rural, but I suppose it might be someone coming into town for the day. Mm, I think I'm just going to take a straight because I've actually got off-road tires. This, I mean, this is a absolute fucking terrible shit. Let's go back on the wheels. I'm sorry, I'll stick to the road. Well, right, I wish you a good night. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. No, um, I already. I, the shake kit is. A, so the, the shake kit's expensive. Um, but I already had an amp. I already have a spare sound card. So, so all I, I bought what is a cheap, I don't know, 25 quid shaker unit. I mean, it, it's, it's a bass transducer. Um, if you step out of the uh, butt kicker brand, um, you can get them very cheaply. Um, for home cinema, like lots of people use them, you attach them to your sofa. Or, as I said, you can also get um, base kit, uh, butt kickers up to about £2,000, and I believe that is a 5 kilo weight that can move 15 centimetres. The destination seems to be in the middle of nowhere as well. Never mind, we don't need to know why they're going, do we? Just where? Look at him. He's where he's so obviously a drug dealer. But yeah, I, 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 the, the, I'm, I've had the base set up running for a little while. Um, it, where, I mean, for a, for a grand total of fifty quid or so, um, you can have, you can direct all of the base output from the game, from everything to your chair, which is cool. Um, and if you buy the, the base only upgrade for the um, SRS Sim Racing Studios kit, um, then you can have specific support. So I've got impacts actually vibrating the chair separate and gear changes. So when I do a gear change, 
I actually get a thump. So I'm being, I'm, all my senses are being assaulted. And obviously the steering wheel vibrates as well. I don't think I'll get the SRS, uh, the wind kit, by the way. I, I really think that's a, a, uh, a bit of a gimmick. But apparently there's a kind of, if, so if it's on their website, it's kind of like a cushion. It's like a vibrating cushion that you put on. And apparently it's great. And then you get the super high-end people. They have four butt kickers, one in each corner of the rig. So when you hit an impact from the left, you actually get the impact from the left and so on and so on. Oh, so. One small disappointment, MAME has no support for this, to the point where I might consider thinking about writing it. Um, in theory, it wouldn't be that hard to squirt out uh, the motion data from um, motion games to this. Because we have got the issue that some of those they, once they're broken, that's it. They're gone. Uh, the arcade. This has been something I've been thinking. So what you do is you buy this, but then you would do it up to look like the original. But under the hood, it'd still be this uh, thing. But I mean, it's I mean for something so cheap. I mean they they spent the money in the right place. You got that's the point. Yeah. The motor's cold. Apparently, I must keep the motor's below seventy degrees C. I mean, mostly the thing that you might not have for this is really it's the, it's the room. Um, so this is, it's probably about a foot longer than when I had it under my desk. Um, so it's, it's not much bigger either, it's surprising. Um, I, I think it's more that you see the dedication to have a bit of your office or game room dedicated to the motion chair, really. I mean, honestly, um, this is about the same price as an Index or a Vive. Um, and if you've already got a VR headset, this is definitely your uh, thing. Hey, hey! Oh man, I should find out if they have a loyalty scheme, Flabbergasted. But honestly, I mean, I, I, I'm I, really impressed with it. it. It's it's not... I have used much higher end systems. I said I used a, a D-Box at Codemasters. Um, and I was, I was honestly blown away by how good that was. That was £17,000. And I'm like, why, why, what, who's this for? Who's going to ever spend that much money? I mean, apart from racing car drivers off season, there is that, I guess. But overall, that seems a bit weird. Whereas, but this one doesn't use linear actuators, it uses gearboxes and motors. So it is a lot cheaper and it's quiet. So you can't hear this. And I can I can feel it, but I can't hear it. Whereas the actuators are very noisy. So that's when you have to really genuinely have a dedicated area or unless you live by yourself. Oh, back on your wheels. Fifteen seconds. Snag. This is the place. You better pull up. Yeah, but don't get wrong. That was wonderful movement, smooth and precise and powerful. This is as cheap as it gets. It, it's literally as cheap as it gets. Um, and there I say, it's a sim racing garage reviewed this. 
but basically Barry Rowland just sort of went for its price this is just incredible like this is as good as things 10 times its price then he, if you look at oopsie if you look at something like the uh, oh wow the next level racing setup I mean that's seven and a half grand for something that's nowhere near as good as this a whole bunch of stuff here without hitting a tree. Oopsie. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I, I say, I really, really, honestly, what apart from you know, the price, it was honestly it's the upgradability that that is very important. There's no way I would have gone and splashed out for the full six doff or a two doff that I might go, oh, it's not very, or I might go, sorry, I might go, it's really, really good. Now I'd have to throw it all away. I'm supposed to be drifting, by the way, but I haven't really mastered the art of drifting. Not in any game. I'm not going to suddenly start now. I think... Again, can't tell the difference between actually skillful driving and just slamming it around in circles. The tricky part is I have to bank this without wrecking. But I don't know if that's 12,000. Oh, I'll put some music on. I think I'm gonna, yeah, let's bank that. Is that 15,000 or 15,000 times three? Bank it, bank it, bank it. Bank it. If I hit something, I lose my um, in progress combo. drove in circles for two minutes last but you know cheers for the uh, 71,000 skill points but yeah the um for racing the your upgrade does appear to be the, the important one uh this the roll and pitch gives it you know it's flight sims um your gets you um losing control skidding you know that's the thing it will kick it out when you and you'll really feel it. Um, the six off it really the six off is a bit of a nicety because with the extra three dimensions of movement, you are only getting a small amount of movement. Say it, it, I think it's fifteen centimeters, but it, it's at one g. But well, that's quite limited. So you know when you're going up and down a hill in a car, you'll get a bit moving forwards and backwards, and you have an impact. So it's it's mild improvements, but fairly mild. But basically, I, I will. I think I will go with the three doff upgrade and go, given the lead time and the dampers. I'm definitely going to get the dampers. And away we go. I am, well, I'm not surprised, as I say. I'm surprised that more of these haven't come about, given COVID and VR and stuff. But 
there have been so many Kickstarters, but there's also one called the Your VR, um, which is quite cool. It's quite an interesting idea. Very, very different approach to this one. Um, so yeah, there are, there are plenty of those on the market. Um, this one's from the Ukraine. Um, it's definitely the best bang for your buck. And the Your VR one is big. Uh, very, very clever design though. This was terrible though. This car is not going off though. I'll probably call it after this level. But I'm going to play this a bit, bit tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to play Project Cars in VR and see how that goes. Don't know what we're doing in the evening. Haven't got any specific plans. Possibly GTA, possibly Warcraft. So GTA doesn't show off spy. So GTA has support for this, but only in a mod. And I'm not sure what the legality of mods is. It might be fun as a, as a toy, but maybe not as something I can actually uh, use online. Can I help you get the new Raptor? Is this a, G is this a Forza thing? Because you'll notice in the title it says I'm the world's worst Forza player. woman wants me to do. Is it near miss a speed skill? Do I have to do five different speed skills? Wait, so if he's a YouTuber and drifter, why would he get the two doff rig? Why wouldn't he get the three? Like drifting is all about that third one. That's about, that's when you feel the rear tires let go. Was it, do you know which two doff rig he got? Because I said the, um, the next level racing two doff is seven and a half grand. And can't be upgraded. We have a next level racing setup at the arcade, uh, non-moving, and it, it's exactly, I do mean exactly the same um, uh, harness as this one literally the same one this harness cost me seven quid i don't just mean it's kind of the same it's literally the same thing in their 900 quid static seat uses a seven quid harness so it's not even as you're paying for quality they just know they well, they can corner the market hence the ukraine people uh absolutely undercutting the market well the name so this is the H2, the 3 DOF is the H3, and the 6 DOF is the H6, and then there's a P2, a P3, and a P6. And they're the same, only with much, much bigger, more powerful motors, which run can run a lot longer, and I, I won't don't get so hot. I, I'm not sure I want to use any more powerful motors. Because I was a little bit like, oh, I didn't get I didn't get the top one. I didn't get the... Uh, you get an extra... I think it's 1.2 G's, not not 1 G. But in retrospect, I think I'm actually. Quite... 
I think I'm actually quite happy with the... Wow, that was a crash and a half, wasn't it? Build a mini trying to get that last speed skill. Atrocious actress. I like the way Jay just said, Can you help me get the new raptor? I, I pointed out I don't know what the hell he's talking about, he just left. I won't get I won't then. He got the P3, okay. Yes, I, I don't need the Siri race because I don't have a direct drive wheel. I think the damper spray would have been a good idea. Um but I can retroactively order those. Um, yeah, the, P, the honestly, and I'll, I'll take my secret off. Honestly, these motors are cold. I have no idea what you have to do to make the, the motors get hot, but they are they are genuinely cold to the touch. But as I said, if I was running it in California, it might be a bit different. I quite like them. I don't have to put the seatbelt on. If I don't have the seatbelt on, as the chair moves around. I just pivot in the opposite way in the chair, so I stay still in the chair moves around me. Which obviously, in a real car, okay, you are okay, strapped in as the chair moves, car moves, you move. I've been working on a bit of a business diversification that I haven't told you about because I didn't want to worry you. I managed to get my hands on a limousine, Damon at the festival, such a nice guy, and I thought we could offer high-speed luxury group fares. But I really should have asked first, since you'll have to do all the driving. Ah <laughs> oh man, that joke works really well. Apart from the fact I'm in internal view. Handbrake in this game is awful. Yeah, that's a good joke. I like that joke. Unfortunately, it's quite hard to drive in that view. But because it's a limousine, that's interesting. Because it's a limousine, it's very quiet inside. The engine's very muted. That's a nice touch. Oh yeah, but I mean, you know what I mean, Henry. Like I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, I've actually got the window open. It's propped so I don't get overheat. It's maybe twelve degrees in my room right now. Um, I didn't want to get too hot while I was <laughs> driving. Um, but but if you're on a hotter thing, it will get warmer. But I mean, the motors are genuinely cold to the touch. The the P designation that's primarily used for when you reckon you'll do sessions of more than four hours. At all, you know, when you're running an arcade, it'll be running all day long. That's that. Just think if but I think they're erring on the side of caution there. I was saying it, it. I mean, I've been going for. Oh, Christ. You got them? All right. I've put the I've been going for about four hours on this, then it's cold. But I was thinking if it does get hot. I was, you can get circular heat sinks. I was good about circular heat sinks on it. The upgrade to the P is is quite a lot. But it'd be interesting to try Project Cars tomorrow, which is a much more sensible game than this. 
it feels like because this is right. I mean, the motion's quite oh. gentle. Well, not much point doing the rest of the joke now you've heard the punchline. Just warming up this gig in Edinburgh. Hope you don't mind. But yeah, the joke about the stretch limit is completely ruined as you play an internal view. <laughs> But yeah, I was probably going to get R Factor 2. That is apparently the the simi VR game, and it's super moddable. See, this is exactly what I mean. Joking about cars with this horizon art is like joking about burgers with a bunch of cows. So it's like, um, then we can do, you know, racing minibuses around the Nürburgring or rallying in F1 cars or whatever. So as I said, my microphone's just here to my left. And when I'm concentrating on the game, and I don't notice the slowly moving lead, it feels like the microphone's coming at me. I like these missions, they're all quite easy. Charlie next. Maybe he's got something good. You made the pickup. Oh, I really wish all the people walking to the car didn't need the exact same animation. No, don't tell me there's no time. I've updated your route to the next pickup point. Better get to it. It's getting mate, we've got two minutes. You want to know how slow my car is? Tell you how slow my car is. It's so slow that oh hey, hiya, you all right, Jess? How you doing? You got your car material ready for gig? Not really, Charlie. What have you got? Sounds like you're working on something. Yeah, hey, here, yeah, listen to this. My car is so no. slow that when I drive it, it often makes the lane slow. That's not very good, Charlie. Nah, it's not, is it? As slow as. Blimey, I mean, this one driver won't be much help. This taxi's quicker than you might have been, don't I? Here, we're picking up Harry next. Oh Let's my god! He's got Ah, so it's, it's an American limo, so the, dro the steering wheel's on the wrong side. That's what confused me. That's why I drove into the Mini. But yeah, um, as uh, Flabbergast said, if you're still there, um, Elite goes free to play next week. It might even be this weekend. So I'm going to grab that. And that that has VR support and motion rig support. But they are removing VR support for the next expansion, but putting it back in. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what the hell they're thinking for that. But I will be trying that. I've never played Elite. Um, and I, I love squadrons, okay, but it has lots of issues. But I've got the, I got some, There's quite a lot of spare bits left over. So I have a um, Hotas option, center stick option, and gearbox, a gear stick slash uh, handbrake option. Could tell me then, I'm still working on the blooming thing. How about you, Jess? What have you got? A whole lot of nothing. Not a lot of time to come up with anything better. The rate this taxi's going. Alright, how about this? <laughs> what do you call a comedian who has to get a job as a taxi driver? I'd call that you and me, mate, if you don't come up with something before we get to Edinburgh. Okay, okay, calm down. We're picking up Poppy next. She's bent to have something. Why am I picking up a whole bunch of Bristolians here? What's going on with that then? Are you mocking my people? That's our accent, you can't use it. I 
Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how Flabbergasted, uh, how Elite works, because I love Squadrons, but I cannot play a game like that in VR. I, I, there's no chance. It's far too intense. But um, I believe that VR, sorry, that the motion should make it go away because I should be receiving enough um, motion cues to solve the problem of the, uh, of the sickness. But Squadrons doesn't have telemetry support. But the motion platform for a subscription, unfortunately, has a mode where it will just take joystick input. And for a spaceship game, you don't need any feedback from the game. You just take joystick input. So, and you turn left, it turns left. And if you turn right, it turns right, accelerate, brake, and so on. Um, so I would like to try a spaceship game and see whether or not yeah, how it feels. I'd love to play No Man's Sky in this. And I, I might actually pass. I know a few of the No Man's Sky guys. I might pass to them. Well, Squadrons in VR is another level. I, I actually working. hugely I brilliant. Actually working. Like genuinely, I, I've been doing VR since day one. I had a DK one the week it got released. I got into the cockpit in the X-Wing in squadrons and I mean I've been doing VR for 10 years I've seen it all and then I sat down in squadrons and just just looked around the cockpit but I just couldn't believe how good the VR in squadrons is It's quite a long way to go, but all right. But yeah, the motion now is much more sedate because I'm just doing broad corners. This is kind of what I expect Project Cars to be like. In 400 meters, turn right. But yeah, Squadron's got some other issues, but I can't do it in VR. I literally can't. Whereas Elite, I think, is a lot slower paced, so I should be able to. No Man's Sky, I've played that. We've done that a few times on the stream in VR, and I can, I can go all night long in that one. The vignetting is astounding. Whereas Squadrons, it has vignetting for when you're on foot, but not for when you're in the spaceship. And you're like, what? Like, you've, got the, you've got the support for it, you've got the code for it, and you, you didn't put it in the right part of the game. So that's, that's weird. However, I, I don't have any long-term reviews of this, by the way. For all I know, it breaks down after a week. Um, it, it, you know, it, it, it gets clunky, it gets noisy, um, the, the, the motion box goes out. I, I haven't seen like a after one year of ownership type review. I, I also haven't heard anything bad, so you know, it might be fine. But the reason I chose this particular game is this has no VR support. So... Um, I I need to get a handle on where things are. I keep having to touch the keyboard, which is not going to be good in VR. Um, so I've got a little trackpad that uses the mouse. And then I might have to get like a little keyboard here or something. So I can't now. use a full-size keyboard because it will Careful rattle. The but they say specifically, do Very not put anything before. heavy on here. Like... Do not attach screens to it. Hello, Big letters. It's not what it's for.
When is a car not a car? When it turns into a corner. All right, it's going to be a great show, everyone. Thank you very much, driver. Oh my god, 15 kilometers. Probably shouldn't screw it up too much then. That's halfway across the map. 15 kilometers in 4 minutes 5 seconds. Okay. Should probably try to take some shortcuts then. And I was just commenting on how comfortable it is when you're on the road. Oh, don't spin out. Probably a little fast. Yeah, I'm gonna get back on the road. But yeah, SnowRunner. If SnowRunner had VR support and motion platform support, I, I wouldn't play anything else. Like, a lot of the reason I don't play SnowRunner is no VR support. I, I, SnowRunner is just so, so good. And of all the games that would give a completely unique feeling in a motion platform, it's that. And it's also the thing. The motion platform is an enormous amount of work. It's a very complicated system. But they've done it all. All you need to do is pass to them every update, the angle of the player's vehicle, and the forces on the player's vehicle. That's it. It will do the rest for you. So I don't understand why every game doesn't have support for it. it it's utterly trivial to do. That like they even supply you a Unity and an Unreal plugin, just going, here you go. So I was looking at Pacer which is the new uh, Wipeout clone by the uh, old Sony Liverpool slash Psygnosis people. And I was like, great, motion platform support? No, then I'm not getting it. Again, if that had motion platform support, I'd be all over it. Wipeout with moving platform. Oh, oh yes. But yeah, I suspect I could probably project cars would be quite tame compared to this. This does seem very intense. But I can scale it up and down. If I want to make something small seem like a lot, I can crank it right up and vice versa. This is a hell of a long mission, by the way. I hope I earn a lot of money for it. But yeah, having done go-karting, it's not your eyes, it's it's your combination of your hands and your ears that tell you that you're about to uh, spin out. So that's what the your thing will do. Um, honestly, the force feedback in the this game is not great. Project Cars is, is just unbelievable, but I can't really tell if I've got traction or not in this. In reality, if you're doing a corner and you let go, the wheels the wheels turn just very, very quickly. And here it's just like, yeah. All I've got is I've got the traction loss cracked up in the in the uh, subwoofer. Oh shit! Now. I've got an overshot. 
is about to go nationwide. We're busier than ever, and I still don't have help in the office, and I'm not stressed. I know we'll get there, and everything will be fine. I believe I have you to thank for this breakthrough. So, I won't need you to do so much driving now. I can manage from here. Is that done? Do I unlock that car? Like 20,000. <laughs> Well, achievement. Did they appear on the screen? Aisha sounded relieved Ripper. on the yeah. phone, which, if you know Aisha, is pretty major. So, nice job. I'll call you when she gets in touch again. But I shall stop it there, and I shall undo my seatbelt with. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, that is uh, that is really quite something. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching, everyone. Hope that was uh, amusing. As ever, if there's anything you'd like us to play, if, if you would like us to play a certain game, um, or you've got some good ideas that we should do something in a game, please let us know. At least until this coronavirus is done, we are going to continue to do streams every night to keep you guys entertained. So thank you so much. You're all awesome. Two thumbs up. I'm sorry that Dora has... I don't know. Um, and we'll be back tomorrow. Oh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that bell. Smash that like button. I think it's all the things I have to say. See you guys.